What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Dame on Never Been a Lame. Oh, what's good, family? It's your boy King Lamar, aka Mr. Blessed and Beautiful. This is Jay Willer, the podcast killer, aka Podcast Poppy, aka the Pie Father. This here is Willow Wednesdays. You about to get some ghetto news hey. from your relationship gurus. Cam Dollar. What it do though? Gang, gang, what's happening, man? What's happening? Cam, Cam motherfucking Dollar. Like, we, we starting it off rip. We starting it off yeah. from the top. How you yeah. feeling, brother? I'm high. I'm drunk. Yeah, oh, it's been it's been a shit. day. It's been a day. Nah, it's been a day. It's definitely been a day. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all not privy to what's happening just yet. They, they, they the, the audience don't know, but some oh, shit yeah. is happening. Yeah, yeah feel me. Like going on, yeah. And yeah, and, and, and with that, we didn't see performances. We didn't see interviews. This is a lot of shit that's happening. A lot. But I, I I'm glad and thankful that you could pull up to the show. This is real shit. You know I told you I can pull up. Fuck with you, bro. You know Let's get it, man. Yo, you know how we do. Hey, uh, you want you want to ask him? No, 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 no. Before we get there, how was oh. your week? First, oh, how was your week? First and foremost, right, Dame, how was your week? I got, I got to make sure that my brothers are straight. How was your week? My week is good. I'm here to support uh, my new baby mama. Okay, <laughs> baby mother. Um, so, wifey has a new baby. Britney I'll, Spears is pregnant. Yeah, for me. Oh, okay, oh, so yeah, I'm gonna boy, shout out her baby crazy. daddy. Finna be rich. Big K yeah. Fed. What is that? Big K Fed. We about to get paid. You about to be rich? You going crazy? Yo. Heard it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supporting yeah. Um, me and Kevin Federline. We, we dress out there. like him, too. Y'all know what we do. No, you dress just <laughs> you know like saying? Kevin Federline. You dress like the Kevin The hat, hat is the same oh, way. Oh, yeah, the douchebag hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you got the same, same hat. Hat. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. terrible. I'm here for it. Hey, Ross, support. Cool. So I'm just supporting my So that's your week. You supporting yours. Yeah, that's your week. How was your week, brethren? My week was my week was stressful as fuck, man. Okay. I'm saying just just getting shit going. Just getting shit going with the business. and uh I miss y'all boys though, man. Nah, I've, been, that, that, I've been watching. I'm like, God damn, y'all cool, but <laughs> you need me. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> Heard it. It's the, it's how many musketeers? You feel me? It's <laughs> <laughs> really full. We missing a nigga. Oh, ain't no, ain't no knees. Ain't no knees today. No. Ain't no knees. Yeah. Now nah, you, you bugging? I got my. Oh, you got your knees out. Me and Cam, me and Cam got the knees out. Hey, so Cam, so what are you talking about? You got knees out. All my jeans except for this one, like two others. Them shits is all ripped with the knees. Yeah, so no, but, but what happens is guys, when people don't know that you're wearing G Star, they they just don't know. No, but I, mean, I, I, just, I, re- I just work here, bro. No, you but real recognize <laughs> real. When, when you got good denim on, good you don't, denim. your knees okay. don't got to show. 100%. Your knees don't got to show when you got good denim on. I like, I like the knees showing, you feel me? That's good. That's good air. That's good circulation for the hey. thighs, bro. Pause. I mean, so unzip your G Star then, brother. Nah, nigga, so they can is see more fabric. Is that a circulation fabric? zipper? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a circulation zipper? What are you talking one? about? This I just showed you that's not circulation zipper. I had to. I, no, it's but, a compartment for weed and oh, other No, but what's a circulation zipper? I don't know, I, I nigga. I thought I might have learned some shit. What you mean? I'm like, I mean, damn, you got ventilation jeans? Listen, nigga? bro. Like, listen, listen. Amazing. Listen, listen. For everybody in a relationship, <laughs> right, I just realized if you got a girl, you can take somebody's number, make a write on a piece of paper, put it in your jeans. She'll never check here. Wow. Until shorty wash them, and now you tight. <laughs> <laughs> and now you lost the number. <laughs> Yo, I mean, hey, either way, but long story short, man, I missed y'all, man. to get a number. Huh? You gonna be like, yo, you got a pen? Anybody got a pen? You got, got a pen? pen? pen yeah. and piece of paper? Remember them days? That's the old pen. way. Hey, hey, real quick, like, real quick. This is like complete off rip. Okay. What's y'all? What's a line that y'all use to like holler at a show? You like? What's like? What's like some like? Matter of fact, I know for me, my shit be off top, real freestyle. So mm-hmm. like, yeah, what's like the last thing that you said in a situation with a I'm joint? I'm a freestyler, but to, in, to, to bag, to bag, shorty. To really, whether it's to bag, like to, to get close the deal, to 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 start the conversation. Yeah. So so so, so so break it down. Like, where was the last place y'all was at? Yeah, y'all can yeah. act like it was thirty years ago for. I see it yesterday. She, I had met a girl at the gas station. Fat ass. I wanted to smash. So uh-huh. she, I pump her gas. You pump the gas. Pump That's the gas. The, you pump chivalry. Gas. So chivalry. How, how, how you, and I try to follow oh, me on shit, Instagram, you my gas. and she just been on my shit ass. Uh, uh, you know your shit Hollywood. No, because you said it. Hey, bro. It's we, lit. We had somebody here earlier in the club. He's like, you know him? I was like, who? I was like, uh, buddy right there. I'm, I'm on his gram. I'm like, oh, okay. You tell me more. No, it, it means something. To, no, because it saying? means something. I know, I know. It, listen, listen, I fuck with it. No, 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 listen. Real quick. We, we going to get to Cam Dollar yeah, yeah, real quick. Hold real on, quick. Hold on. But, but to answer your, your question. Yeah, what's your, uh, um, what's the last way you time you, where you hollered at a shorty? Um, I'm I'm going to be, I'm going to be the old guy. I'm going to be corny with it. The last thing I might have said, I might have said, I don't even remember no more. It's been so long. But the last thing I might have said was like, 
Like, damn, you fine for real. Like, nah, you like, 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 like you a good look for real. Like, Straight up, like, like, yeah, look at make her blush one time. Like, no, like, yeah. not that. Like, you a good look for real. Like, damn, that positive, uncomfortable. Like, I, I got something that that works. So, Dane, yeah, Dane, go works. ahead, talk to me. What you use, Dane? I Back in the seventies, what you use? I use it freestyle, but I will tell you one that Back I heard in, in public the other day that was hilarious, and I saw it work. Uh, he was just like, "You dropped that." She was like, "Well, he's like my number," and I was oh, like, "Oh no, that's not working." But that's not the working. fact that she thought it was so goofy. That's what it worked. She was what? like, "That was so corny." She, so she giggled. Yeah, and Got so once you. once she saw it was corny, he was like, "It was corny, right?" She was like, "I know." He's like, "But did it work though?" I was like, "Oh, <laughs> with the double back." <laughs> and then she was like, I mean, I, "She was like, all right, I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can see how corny would work." Yeah, but that's I can what see she said. How corny would work? She was corny, like, "That's corny, corny as hell." Corny works. But corny does she, work. But she so, said, uh, when she doubled back, she got the number. But, so but you got to be corny and funny, right? And you got to be corny forever at this point. Yeah, facts. You got to be consistent. Second, you some cool boy shit like. Yeah, shut your corny ass. Like, oh, you know, trying to? Yeah. Be, that's like Urkel turning into Steve Urkel. Steph, 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 Steph Urkel. Urkel. Like, are you trying to be cute for real? Like, it don't so, work for you. So look, so I yeah. remember there was a time that um, so I was at the gym. We was playing ball, and there was a girl standing right out at LA Fitness. There's double doors. She was standing right outside the double doors. I think she was trying to talk to somebody that was playing ball as well. So she's standing outside the double doors, texting. I'm trying to get out to go get some water. Yeah. I walk out. I'm like, I look out. I say, Are oh, you texting me? I right, give me a second. Let me go check my phone. I'll be right back. Right? And I walked. I got some water. I think she looked at me and she giggled. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. That really was pretty like, good. No, you freestyled that. You freestyled that. You feel that. me? She looked up, giggled, and kept it pushing. I ain't mm. give her pay no attention. No, mm. no, nothing aggressive. Already mm. like opened up. Got water. Came back. I said, yo, you still texting? Relax. Give me a second. Let me get my phone. She's like, huh? I like, you texting me, right? That's pretty good. She's that like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Uh, do you want, me, you want me to be texting you? I was like. Yeah, you that, should take my number. That was pretty yeah. good. You see your phone real quick? That's pretty good. It's that put it out there and double so, back. Yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. You got to like back. put it. Don't put it out when, there just to see. Once right. you double back, first, it was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Double back. Like, yo, who you? You you, you texting me? Matter of fact, let me see your phone. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. I was like, you text me right now. I was like. Did you text? No. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, no, that's creepy, though. You stood over her no, no, shoulder. No, 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 no. I actually like Did that. you text no, 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 me? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I said, did you text like, while she's doing it? But I'm not Got you, got you, got I'm you, got going. you. I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's in passing. But either way, either way, that's the, I just popped in my head. I just that wanted to know smooth. how. No, that's, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. You feel me? Feel me fresh. You got an A plus for that. You got an A plus for that. I try, I try. Never text her back, though, but. I mean, but knowing you. But think about it. But here's the thing. But we just, you conquered what you needed to. Do niggas just I mean, for the moment? Yeah. Do y'all, the mango. Do Sometimes y'all you bad, just want to know if you got it. Do y'all bad girls to like for the most part? Do y'all bad girls to actually clip, or do y'all sometimes just for sport? What you mean by that? I'll Listen. elaborate. I'll, 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 I'll oh elaborate. yeah, New York word. I'll, I'll elaborate. New so, York word like, clip. So what? New York word clip. When you're talking to a young lady, are you talking to her? To actually make her something, or are you doing it just to see if you still got it? Like when you go outside, honest, bro. Right now, the hoes ain't nothing but a bill, bro. So it's like I got to choose the baddest bill, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna be through with you just like you're gonna be through with me. When I get tired of you and feel like you ain't worth my money, I'm gonna stop fucking with you. Like it ain't that I ain't got no money, but. I don't want to spend all my money on you. Just like you ain't got no money to spend on me. I ain't got all the money to spend bro. on you. I'm going to spend a little bit. Listen, I'm going to spend listen, a little bit listen, see I, 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 see if I fuck with it. But I don't fuck with it. I'm not going to keep wasting my money on you. You know why? I'm going to get so, another bad bitch. We got a motherfucking so, no, no, camp so look, dollar in the building. Come on, let them know. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, let's say you ever, you ever like, chopped it up with a shawty. I don't want to just fuck a girl, bro. I know. Yeah, I'm saying you ever chopped I, it up with a shawty but never really, like, followed up. Yeah. You bagged yeah. it. You got the number. You chop it up with her. Yeah. Y'all might be somewhere at a spot. It's a oh, vibe. But you never followed up to actually like get yeah. the buns. That's what I I'm saying. saying. It me a lot. And it's simply because, bro, I got goals time. I'm trying to reach right now, and I ain't got the time, bro. Exactly. And it's like if I give you all my time, then I'm gonna fall behind trying to do what I want to do, trying to prove something to you, mm. and you just temporary because uh. I might lose you in about three months. So mm. I'm really yeah. wasting all my time and money. I need to just focus on me, and if you stick okay. around, then I might fuck with you. I can't mm. wait to post this. <laughs> can't so wait like, to post that. if wow. you can't stick around while I run up a hundred band, I might not even spend one band on you. You ain't worth it, bro. I'm Cam. Chill out, Cam. Relax. Bro, I am the king of not spending no money. No, no, no. I'm just no. letting you know. No, like, but if she stay down, I spend it though. I get her ring in there. You're missing the no, second part. part. But if she if she in the way while I'm getting it back, you all the way. I'm gonna just make sure you all the way out the way. Mm. You might yeah. well just stay out the yeah, way and let me run this worth up. It. You we just see me on the billboard or something. You can see me on the Cam. I'm gonna say this before we go any further. How was your week? 
Like, like, I done had a good week. I done, I, done, I got some shit accomplished, and I got some bigger shit accomplished. I ain't gonna talk about. I'm just gonna let it happen. Mm-hmm. So I done had a real good week. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's, what's up. That's fire. That's fire. That's My fire. week has been amazing. Before y'all interrupt, go ahead. What's up I wouldn't go interrupt. Cool. No, what? My week, look, Richard. What, what have Richard, you been look, doing for the past couple weeks? You ain't not, been interrupted. This not week? interrupted. Nah, I've had uninterrupted weeks. What? But right, he's go not. Ahead. I had a but moment. But since he's back, <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, he don't ahead, care about ahead. your fucking week. Nah, nah, Bro, tell us about your week. Tell us about I, your I had week. a I had a moment as a father. Once again, I always got like dad moments. He no. be cheating. He always come through with the stories we got to hear. No, because his stories are so sentimental, bro. <laughs> no, but, but to be, be honest, like, my kid, yes, but me. I learned when I wasn't looking. He said, "I love you, Dad." My dad never hugged me. Like, my no. dad never hugged me. <laughs> no, but real <laughs> shit. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me so out. Hear me out. Have kids, bro. Yeah, bro. Hear me out. Like, I, matter of fact, I got a kid on the way. I, I'll, I'll get with Britney Spears. What? Heard it. Got it. Yo, go ahead, and she man. paid for the day. Britney Hodges. Heard it. No, but sugar mom. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. Yeah, sugar mom. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. Nah, but Yo, listen. Damn God. Jay, God. But listen, 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 listen. My son, he played youth football. A or under. We know that, right? We know he plays. We, we We've been about it, right? following this yeah. all semester. So imagine, right? He, he he playing the game. He's starting defense. He 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 a corner, right? Right. He's playing the game. I'm watching the game. The cornerback job is to make sure that whoever has the ball don't get past them. Mm-hmm. Long story short. Okay. The runner back come through. He get hit. Runner back lose the ball. My son is there to pick the ball up. Uh-huh. Oh, snap. Fumble recovery. Oh. Nigga, I'm, in, I'm yelling like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Bro, I felt like I was watching an NFL game, and I can, I can see why parents get involved for real. Right. In sports, I, I can see why, yeah. I can see why parents get in fights in the stands. Right, because no, right. you're not gonna talk shit about my kid when they doing whatever they doing. Right. So my son had a game. I'm watching the game. Yeah, Amazing. nigga came through the middle. He got clipped. My son picked the ball up and ran, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Fumble recovery to the touchdown. Like <laughs> he, he won, won the touchdown? touchdown. He didn't know. He did. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he did. Okay. He did. He did. I was about to be like, "Oh, I was like, I was like, I was like, be like yo!" Like, he actually <laughs> didn't really like finish the he way did. I wanted him to finish. I was waiting on that part. But he, he got, did. he got it though. Either way, he made he it like three yards. Picked the ball up and ran, and they got him, of course. No, he, got, he got caught, but still. No, but he was there when he needed to be. Yeah, that's good. And then, but more funnier, he knew which direction to run. No, because hey, imagine no, no, sometimes you they pick do the ball up and run the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so proud as a dad, like to see my kid, like yo, you, you doing some shit. And you know what you're doing. And you you gonna ate. Fuck around, be a go. You feel me? You ate, and you like you you picked the ball up and ran the right direction. Nah, like, so to, it's funny. It's it's little, but like I said, my my weeks be like little shit nah, that it's means crazy, big bro, shit. Because I I give you something to laugh at. What's I up? I play basketball, but I was always a football player. My mama tried to make me play ball. Damn. I played church lead for the past. I tried to show up from the past. Yeah. I stole the ball from a nigga, went the wrong way, and shot it the wrong goal, gave them two points. Hey, 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 hey. hey. You hey. see? I was just about to say the same thing. No, but I've done that. <laughs> on, on the I've in, done that. On the inbound. Niggas yeah. inbound the ball. <laughs> it's at half. We switched. Yeah. yeah. I don't see nobody ah. over there. I'm like, oh, yeah. Ah. I'm like, y'all niggas are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was that with me I was right there, bro. Too. I let, I let left hand laid it. I was uh, like, oh, two hand, two, yeah. two points. I'm coming back. Mama. We lit. No, we're no, not lit. You're at the game. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Lamar. Come here. Come here. Get him, cub. Grab him by the back of the jersey. <laughs> Sit down. I said, get you, dumb ass. Give him the points. I said, you even. <laughs> I walked off like, I thought we scored. I thought we. Bro, embarrassing. I didn't play the rest of the game. Shit, Yo, no, but that's hilarious. They play the rest of the game though. But I yes, never did that again. Yeah. But but that's why I'm proud of my son. It's like I, that's what's I, up. I like little shit like that. Nah. But now that that's out the motherfucking way, let's, let's get, to get show, into bro. our show. <laughs> let's get what we got the fuck going. We got Cam motherfucking Dollar sitting here next to us. I, I, y'all need to understand what's happening. Easy. We got some topics. Okay. Hey, yeah. side, we got side, some. sidebar, sidebar. What I told you when I saw you come out the car. What's the first Uh-oh. thing I said? Oh yeah, motherfucking glisten. Hey, hey man. Oh no. Hey, man. Oh come on now. Hey man. Come this on nigga shit. Dancing, you heard? Listen, we not All here. Right? We not here for no games. This nigga, I used dancing. We this not... nigga made me do one of these coming in the car. <laughs> I you, said I might you, put you a turtle. Tuck your shit away. I said, I said I might put a turtleneck on it <laughs> around this motherfucker. 
This nigga <laughs> shit dancing. Yo. And he got on the silk, by the way. No, 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 no. no. Listen, he's been, wanna, he's been swagging on niggas the whole night. Wanna, like, I mean, I don't so even know. That my barber got me right. It's not me. I can't facts, keep up facts, with niggas. Facts. That's why I got a hat on. I got a hat on. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got a hat on, too. I can't compete with y'all niggas. That's not why you got a hat on. No, no, no. We know why he got a hat on. We gonna leave no, that alone. Still trash. But yo, can we talk about what we gotta? Can we talk about what we gotta talk about right. tonight? Hit him with the first question. We got a question for you. Hey and man, we just need to know. Real niggas want to. Well, real, real niggas don't want to know. Re- Shorty want to know. No, no, real niggas want to know, and the girls want to know too. Like I real mean, shit, because we need to, we need to see what we not doing I, I, or what we you doing. Fact, I might be. You know hey. what? You are right. Yo, Cam. What kind of porn you watch, what brother? Kind of porn what kind of porn watch, do you watch? You like big titty, you like, you like little titty, porn? like, like you like, like Mormon? Do like what, what kind of porn do you watch, brother? Like, like twenty boy, girls, boy, one guy. I like the Ebony's, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I like the white girls, you know. Wait, wait, hold on, run it back. Like, oh, you fuck with the white girls? I like when the white girls, you know. what I'm saying? He said he like Ebony, but he also like white girls. You trying to be a baby daddy too? I ain't gonna say baby. daddy. Well, yeah, I'm trying to be a daddy. I feel like we should have more mixed babies, you know. For real? Yeah. More, more black and white. Babies. Introduce the swirl. Oh, no. Yeah, so we can kind oh, of work swirling. our way in their family too. You know? Kind of like be a gay dog. You know? I mean, but mm-hmm. let them go, let them go. All right, all right, all right. So, you know so, so I feel like they'd be our way of kind of getting along together, the black and the white. Let's have I mean, more mixed babies. You know? What I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna try to get. Y'all don't deep. think so? I'm not trying to get we deep. Still gonna, we still gonna love our black woman, have a baby with our black women too. We just gonna have one black and one white baby. Like, damn. Right, so now we talking you about one black and one white baby? Every black yeah. man should have a black woman and a white woman. Is what you're saying? You think so? Yo, yo, wow. yo. You sure? I've never that's heard that before. Hey, that's, hey, a, that's a hey, take. Hey, Cam. You sure? I'm positive. Listen, if they didn't <laughs> know us, bro, the highway, we gonna get our reparations. Listen, if they didn't know us yet, they no, know no, no, us no, no, now. No, 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 we're on, we're on to something. We're on to something. <laughs> listen, this is good. No, no, I've never, no, never listen, thought about no, that. A black woman sees Cam say that. But Yo, else, else, uh, else. Well, I guess it's at the end of the day, uh, black women don't even respect the fact that, you know, as a Muslim, like, I ain't Muslim, but I got Muslim friends, and they all got more than one wife, but they take care of all of them. Mm. So what's the problem with it? So we should have a black woman hey, and a white woman? I agree. Yeah. I'm with it. No, no, I mean, no, if no, she's not going to do her job and my other wife going to do her job, why not? And at the end of the day, you going to learn something from my white wife, too. My, my wife. Ooh. Hey, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. You are speaking real shit. <laughs> no, nah, it's real just shit. too radical for me to and agree. And, 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 and I understand yeah, that. Give me 20 and minutes. I understand that, but it's my life, and I get to choose what I want. And if I don't want you no more, because you too toxic and you too hurt from all the other dudes, and she not hurt at all because everything's just been given to her. And she just, you know what I'm saying? Why would I have to deal with you when I could deal with this girl who just That's the realest gonna, shit. You know what I'm saying? She just wow. going to ease my mind and not even be toxic. So like now you. let me ask you a Why question. Why not just date rich black women? Hold on. Well, Hold yeah, because rich they're, black they're, women, they are it's, trying it's, to be like Nikki and all the other bad bitches. And they just yeah, want to be it's, out there for everybody. They just for display at this point. They for sale. Like, I don't want no girl that for sale. So mm. let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So. I agree if, with that statement. If you say want, she for I, sale, I, I could buy her for a certain I price. I don't want a woman that's for sale because now. I hate the prices. A bro. price tag is like all I have to do is get to that price tag. And then that's all it. I got to do is get to this amount Hold of status on. and price and I can have it. And I can have so you. Let me ask you a question, my boy. I absolutely. Hate so that. when it comes to, um, you know, you said it, boom, certain certain black shorties might be a little too toxic or a little too drama filled yeah. because of what they probably been through yeah. but it's their relationship and it's, what if and a shorty say what they if somebody call say the police on this. Why? I agree with you but what if, the, what if a shorty you know say kill us. what if a shorty say um, like why wouldn't you try to help relieve that stress since they've been so traumatized because guess what since bro? they've been hurt by black men why not be healed by a black man because guess what when we Good try question. to heal them they take it out on us even if we ain't do nothing to them you could be trying to help mm. a girl. She's struggling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you get you some water. I don't need no fucking water. I can give me some water. Like they don't want to help me. Then when you help me, it's like, okay, well help me some more and do this and do that. You and want then to like, okay, now hold on. Am hey. I helping myself at this point? Helping you, Shadi? Hold on, just tell them, yo, just make sure you speak speaking to the mic. But look, oh, yeah. you know it's crazy. You know it's crazy. I saw, uh, I saw a workout video the other day of a black girl. Yeah. She was struggling. Okay. It was a black girl struggling with some dumbbells. Nah, she was I sitting. helped for sure. She was, hold on, hold on. She was sitting. She was doing one of these. I guess she was on a super set of some shit, but she she got to a point where she almost shit herself, okay? Yeah. She, Her shit she gave almost out. lost it. It yeah. gave out. Everything was popping. Veins, everything. A white guy came out of nowhere and helped her spotted finish her. out the set. Yeah, spotted, spotted her. her. Yeah. And, you know, her caption was like, ah, oh, no, no, thank you so much. Basically, they said that if it was a black guy, right? Which I don't, I, I've seen this where, you know, let's say a shorty's at the gym and a guy comes to try to help her out. You know, he she might post online we're like, yo, he's such a creep. Like, why is he? I'm it's fine. Thirsty da, da. Ass, nigga. So I I understand what you're saying. I feel like it's the 
there's a different type of toxic energy that black women give black men that they don't give everybody else. Like they they gonna treat the white man with respect because he got a dollar that she thinks she could work her way to get. But they gonna <laughs> treat the black man like you know what I need all your money. You got to give me all your money or you can't have me. You don't you got no money to have me. And if I gotta have no money to have you, I, all I can do is buy you. If wait, I get wait, some wait, money. wait, wait, wait. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. So if I get some money, I can just wait, buy wait, you because you're so broke. Sheesh. You're super broke. Talk what, that shit, big kid. Okay, so what what we did just now was un unpack. A, a fucking conversation that I think <laughs> we, I, I think we should have. Yeah. Let me know if I'm incorrect, but I feel like what's you being incorrect. said right now is they're broke and they want to make they want you to spend all your no, money. No, no, but no, she no, don't let, got no money. Let, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. What I, what I feel like is being said is for our community, um, the expectations are so high and the demands are so in demand that if you don't come to that demand. You're lesser than, but Thanks. in another community, the expectations and the demands are not there. So whatever you do is a plus. So we exalt that. Is that what y'all saying? To a certain That's extent. That's absolutely true. But it's, 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 it's not all we just did, though. No, no, it's, clean up. Clean up what you mean, what you mean. I'll clean what I mean. But okay. is, is that a truth? Well, that is, is true. Is that a truth? I feel, like, I feel like it's like this. The black, Cause, one, cause the, the black woman see a white man be like, hey, how you doing today? Then they, they see you. They, they be like, hey, how, how gentlemen, how y'all doing today? Mm-hmm. They walk past some niggas. Oh, look at these niggas. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do these niggas want? Oh, look at these thirsty niggas finna say something to us. And it's like, this just the attitude. You, you, so you treat the white man with so much respect, but you're going to treat us like we're just thirsty and we got to do all this and that to get you. So question. Can I, do you know this to be true in your life? Like, have you I've seen this so many times, bro. Yeah, I've seen it, and it ain't mm. just me. Like I didn't see, like I, I work at a business, right? Mm. I was working at Tyson, and mm. I seen this girl literally try to work her way to the top with the manager, the white flirt with him, everything. Mm. Black manager try to talk to him. He's assistant. He get no play, no nothing, but mm. he helping her out, helping her with a check. But it's like you know, she trying to flirt with the white man, knowing she don't even like him. He old, got a white, but just to get somewhere, just, just to flirt with him and see can she get her way to the top. But mm. she treat the black man like you know what? Just keep doing what you do for me, but I'm finna try to get your boss. So I don't even need you, mm. you know. It's just girls' way of thinking. Like they gonna talk to whoever got the most money, bro. You could bring I, two of your partners around with wait. a bunch of money right now around her, bro, and she might not act like she want to choose in front of you. How, but how, she gonna get one on speaks, Instagram or something. That how speaks how to would a you respond to that? He that just said you could bring. You heard what he said? I did. Uh, how uh, would you respond it just to speaks that? to a different trauma. Black people have our beef with us because we trauma together. Yeah, we hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? It it ugh, goes back to slavery, yeah. but it was that whole. Women felt like we couldn't protect them. You know what I'm saying? And we couldn't. Yeah, you know? yeah that's You're trying up. to be there. And they raping your wife in front of you. And and right in front of you. In, our, in our countries, wherever you are, wherever you are as a black person, it was slavery. You know what I'm saying? And the woman has to see you be castrated and see you be beat up. And she's like, well, damn, my man should be protecting me. And it's something that's homegrown. Did you did you know about this? Or have you heard about this? Yeah, I heard about it. Okay, this. just making sure. You, you gave yeah, me I got face. kicked out of school no, no, behind no, no, it. So, so, I, got, I had a no, 90 no, no, in my U.S. history final with Junior High. But it's a slavery, it's, bro, and I just, I ain't going to lie. It's, it's I, a real I thing. Number. I just and, started beating the shit out of every white boy that was in class with me. Like, every damn. time a white boy just get to saying nigger or anything, just made me thank you, right? So I'm beating the shit out of you. Wait, wait, did he mm. actually say One the word? One of them called me a nigger while I was peeing. I, 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 put my pen, I put my shit in my pen, beat the shit out of him, and got kicked out of uh, school, mm. the whole school district. His parents done tried to press charges. His name Cody Davidson. I beat the shit out you, didn't Cody? Hey, Cody, Cody Davidson. I, I, bet, I, bet you, I bet you think twice about saying nigger. Yeah, he had nigga. a purple eye. He had uh, the little green veins. I beat the yeah. shit out Cody. Yeah, so it was just because I thought about my grandma and my granddaddy when they got down. When I seen so, all the movies they were showing us, and then they, they stopped it. showing black history after, like, uh, they stopped showing black history in our whole school district. Wow. Like, no, but because we started beating the shit out them white boys, niggas just started getting somebody like, bro, I know y'all don't never think y'all gonna do this to us. Yeah, y'all might do it to my grandma, grandma, but you ain't gonna never do it to me. Uh, I'm gonna kill y'all. I'm gonna go to jail out there before I let you ever think you're gonna try that to me. And I don't uh, give a fuck yeah, about it. We outside wanna, with the radicalism. You ask about, fuck you talking about? Have we talked about critical race theory? That's yeah. not even a real it, thing. Oh, how okay. about this? And, and Damn, I feel I'm like sorry. they stopped showing it because they don't really want us to know what happened, and they know what we really want to figure out what happened. We wouldn't be doing all the dumb ass shit. Let's talk about it. We'd be killing each other, bro. I'll say, I'll, say, I'll say this. Have we talked Wait, about critical race? I'll say this. Introduce it. Go ahead. We'd be killing each other. Have we? Have we? Okay. So no, introduce. It. Introduce. We talk about. it. So, uh, damn, damn, I don't want to be nigga with the facts. I don't got the phone. All right, cool. My bad. I'm sorry. From my understanding and opinion and. And briefing that I've been on. Ghetto Ghetto news. news. Ghetto news. Uh, Now, so critical race theory is basically, um, you know, breaking down, breaking down the history of race and what, for my, you know what, my bad, I'm fucking it up. 
Can you, can you do it, please? Because this Critical is kicking in. Critical race theory is explaining shit without making white people feel bad. Uh, I'm going to tell you what yeah. it is. And Y'all made us feel bad. And shit. that's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. It's whitewashing the history. Yeah. And so yeah. they don't want to feel bad. And they should feel bad. And they should feel terrible. And the kids should feel bad. And well, everybody should. Well, what about this? So let's, let's just make it easy. Let, let us just do it. Let, okay, white people. Let's make <laughs> it that. fair right now, feel you bad. guys. Can we put y'all in slavery for a hundred years and it's, and then we could just make it even how it just is right it now? Even. Just call it even. We no, did, I don't want slavery. I want no, reparations. We did four hundred. No, we don't want reparations. We, we, we want y'all. We want to slave y'all right now. Oh, make y'all make a hundred thousand Teslas. We want, want number Teslas. I do. And, and we don't want number oh, Apple MacBooks. And we want y'all to work until we get a million of them, and then we will no, let y'all out of slavery. Right yeah, now. No, it wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, be honest. I'm be honest. happen. I hear you with that, but I rather some slaves. No, I rather some slaves. We can chill. Cause whatever you got, I can take. I can chill for a whole generation to pay the damn. Nah, I rather reparations. Reparations. Yeah, because every other nation got them. I Chinese would, people got them, Jewish people got them, Ukrainians got them. Yeah. Wow, so, they could relax. So, they they gave know, everybody the reparations. Slave, slave, so the same thing will never happen. But we're just talking about personally. You would rather have some white slaves? I'd yeah. rather have, if, if in, a, in, a, in a just world, <laughs> I'd rather have white slaves you want labor. than reparations. Because reparations so is that you have to agree to give me. How about this? That yeah. means you feel that. This is okay. <laughs> how, about, how about this? I can't so, lie. How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? I, I want to say something. To have something. free labor for the I like next 400 years? I, I, I want to say that something. That may not be a bad idea. I would like to say <laughs> something shoes on. that resonates to this conversation, right? <laughs> we got to get into the news. Yeah, we're going to get into the conversation. But I just want to say this. from bitches? Yeah. See? We outside. Didn't I tell you? We outside. Didn't I tell you? We outside. Didn't I tell you? We're not going to violate, though. We're not going to violate. You get three. We go from women. Your fourth one is over. But no, listen. This is real shit, real story. Y'all can look it up. Um, there was a, um, there was a, a, it, was, it was a black family in Los Angeles that had a certain amount of land, right? Mm, mm, yeah. Once again, mm. Ghetto News, I don't know the names, I don't know the this Johnsons. is Ghetto News, right? The Johnsons. <laughs> there we right? go, they're black. They're so the, the Marcuses, the, the Marcuses is, right? no, but no, they had a certain amount of land. Yeah. Um, it was their land, it was black owned, it was black cultivated, black lineage passed on from generation to generation, black. Wow. Um, Probably came from black slave owners. Yes. Low key on so, some, so because on it was black owned, white people didn't like that. Of course not. So we did everything. Well, they did everything in their power to take it away from black people. That's what right? they do. The family has been fighting the state of California for so long to get their land back. Mm -hmm. They finally, finally settled mm -hmm. and got their land back, a black family. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens is their land was taken from them for like pennies on the dollar. Right. Those pennies on the dollar went up with inflation. Right. And now in 2022, they got like $200 million Sheesh. for that plot of land. Wow. Literally what that shows is. They don't want you to have that much power. Man. Not even. Imagine all of the shit that we had at that time that was mm -hmm. taken from us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the money, the generational wealth that we missed. Because what happens is. We're now talking about 100 years, 150 years that passed from when you first owned it, it was taken away from you, and now you got it back. Right. Right? That land has quadrupled in property value. Like, you've made so much money on that land. And when we're talking about reparations, we're not talking about just give us a handout. Right. We're not talking about, it's not a hey, random this, is, this is money that you owe us. No. We're talking about we were property owners in a country that you did not want us to own shit. Right. right. When it was a hundred dollars to own fifty thousand acres, now in twenty twenty two we didn't went through two recessions. We didn't went through the Great Depression. The the property value went up, down, All went through the stuff, roof. Bro. So much shit has happened, and now that same two acre plot of land that was ten cents back in the day is now worth ten million. Right. And generational wealth is built on what you own. Talk so about it. So white people come through. You have. All this generational wealth that that, that that puts you ahead of everybody else because you were able to keep your land. That's it. But black folks, we were never able to keep our land. Right. That's why we're, quote, unquote, behind the white folks. Right. So it, now it's, if you actually give us back our shit, if we take back our shit legally, right, are you actually going to give us what we're deserving? And if you were to do that, do you not know that the, 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 the wealth gap diminishes Overnight? 100%. Because 
the working the working class for the the white family is like seventy grand. A hundred and change. The working class for the black family is like thirty grand. There it is. It's less than that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like the the, the and, disparity and that's what, is nuts. That's what, that's what reparations is about. Rep- reparations for the about working the family. Just giving just, us we talking about the average. I mean, I'd yeah. rather just do the average. I know the average numbers. So cool. So so the numbers. average working family. That's so the, the average family average, for white people. Average white family is like like I guess net worth or whatever is like 137 thousand dollars. So the they're six figures and better. Twenty five. Yeah. yeah. And we are under the poverty line. And they own shit. They own things. They but what I'm saying, what property, I'm saying is, ima- houses, imagine businesses. I'll, I'm glad that we have niggas who's in the music industry here with us, so we can talk about shit, some music shit, it, and we never get to do we this never for get real. To do it. So this is gonna be a whole music show, and I just want to talk about some shit that's been happening. It's all on different spectrums, but it deals back with the music industry, and, I, and I'm, I'm just so glad that we could finally talk about it, right? Um. I want to start with Mystical. Yo, what Hell the yeah. fuck? I want to start with Mystical. Um, this actually upsets me for real. He got arrested again for the third time. Rape. Um, oh, boy. Can we, can we talk about this as a community? And can we hold a black man accountable? Because I, I feel like we never do that. What you mean by hold him accountable? Like, like. He gonna get held accountable you, when he get behind them bars. No, hey, when, when you say home accountable. Okay, so I, I, I so, okay. I'll, so explain I'll you, mean, you mean you mean before the police get to him? I'll elaborate. I'll or elaborate. After. I'll elaborate. You um, got to talk it's to. It's over me. with now. Yeah, cause you know what they finna do as soon as he hit the goddamn. At population. this point, I, but I we, believe we, the police. No, no, but, but <laughs> this point, that's the third <laughs> time, right? You know what I mean? Like at this point, it's like, bro, like they finna put their broom in him, bro. So what about the first? What about the first time? The first time they let him slide cause he famous. They, you know, he. If what they, about this what, like what, R. Kelly? They gonna let you make her you famous and you know woo, woo, they feel like it's an ass in there. She might be lying. So Cam, what about the second time, brother? Second, second time, time is like, all right, bro, maybe you did. No, do it, maybe you did. And, and that's the issue. We dealing with rape. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're yeah, dealing yeah. with forceful entry yeah, yeah, yeah. of another human being, and we're like, okay, yeah. what about the second time? Hold it's on. a problem. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, my, okay. It's a problem. It's so a problem. The thing is, we got to prove that he did. Exactly. Can I speak on it that? It was proven the first time when he was. <laughs> he went to jail for 10 years. Okay. He did a year. Bro, he did a good No, 10. no, no, no. Myst- Mystical did a we stretch. We forgot. Maybe it was like seven. It was a seven. He did a Mystical long did a time. Stretch. So, so if we're talking about. All right. Are we talking about Mystical specifically? Or are we yes. talking about believing women or actually it repeat or, or getting at repeat offenders and actually holding them accountable? Or which one are we talking about? I'm going to say this. I, I don't I don't want to victim blame because that's why I feel like that statement went. No 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 no. I want to know: Are we talking about mystical? Or are we talking about actually? Let's talk about mystical. I wanted to talk about mystical, okay, I, the yeah, artist himself. I feel himself. like yeah, he's he, 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 now he this is his third time being he busted for what? rape, being he, uh, arrested guilty? for now, rape. A guilty? Well, the, the trial didn't. There's no trial right now, so I can't call him guilty. He just said, the only, my only I came in is, with my dick in my hand. So, so here, here's my only thing. Here's my only thing. <laughs> I leave with my foot in foot your ass. ass. Be, Be cool. cool. Yo, like, that's that's literally said. a rape. That sounds very, very sexual. It's rape, 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 bro. It, it, my I'm dick's not, in my I'm hand. Not to, <laughs> I'm cool. not trying to. I'm not trying to. I won't victim blame. That's not ass, what I'm doing. Bro, okay. Yo, I'm not victim blaming. Yeah. Damn. When it comes to when it comes to the the rape, we gotta understand like. We've all heard and seen multiple times where women say things yeah, that imagine. don't happen. Facts. It's true. That don't happen. It's true. And get niggas caught it's up. True. Because yo, it, you want to know, know what I realized? Like, especially when he said that, um, that women call the cops. Mm-hmm. She's women know that, she, they're, she that, that there's someone you fear. And it's the police. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. me? And if something goes in a way or if it looks kind of weird or if my parents... Whatever they call it. Now, this situation, him specifically, if it's proven, yo, bro, buddy got to go. Mm-hmm. But many times I feel like sometimes we talk about we talk about those instances and people just get the book thrown at them because of an allegation. Right. When it's, it's acting like women don't say what they say or exaggerate I, many I, times. I, and, I, yes. Thanks. And with that, when it, well, with a rape charge, yo, if y'all ever heard, if any one of us yeah. walked in and, niggas, and y'all knew, yo, this person was charged for rape. I ain't not fucking convicted with you. Guilty. I'm not fucking with you. You're right. I'm not. You charged for right. rape, bro. Do you understand? You know how I many um um college boys smashed a joint. 
at a party? Okay, Man, so it's like real shit. Woke up the next day and yeah. talk, so I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop you there. Nah, he ain't lying. I, I'm gonna stop you there, right? You're, he's not. He's not lying. He's not lying. He's not lying. He's, 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 he's not lying. He's not lying. He's, on the football team. He's not lying because we done had yeah. whole fucking the, the lacrosse team scandal. It was football team scandal. Charlemagne shit. Basketball team. Yeah. Sh- yeah. That was it's a been, college situation. It's been mad shit. You know what I mean? What like, I'm yeah. saying is, don't die on that sword when somebody is convicted. <laughs> Oh, and they've oh. been known oh. to do this shit. I, oh, no. Nah, I'm going to be real, bro. This nigga here is different. It sounds like he did. He went to we jail know, for it. We know oh, no, this I, nigga to do. And that's why I said I don't want you to oh, die yeah. on this sword. I just wanted to throw that out no, 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 there. I, I get it. Yes, in life. Yes, in life. Some right. shit happens and you get blamed for some but shit that you proof, did not bro, do. Yeah, it's some We're not talking about this right now. Why do you think niggas be... yo? Have you ever seen, um, uh, I think it's Sex Explained on Netflix? Anybody? What is it? Sex, Sex Explained. Explained on Netflix. I haven't seen I did, it. I see that. Should saw, I watch it? Did you see the first, uh, hell I mean, I would, I would watch you anything like that. saw the first like episode? <laughs> it's a documentary? I did. So it's like, a fi- like, ex- like Explained on Netflix, they have different yeah, categories different things. to explain. Like they have Money Explained, COVID yeah. Explained. Yeah. Okay. So Sex Explained. I didn't get this past This is not the, an ad, by the way. It's not an ad, not an but ad. Netflix, okay. if you want to fuck with your boys. Yo, pull up. <laughs> throw us on Netflix. After the pull first up. episode, I didn't get past the first episode, but the first episode, they went into, like, I was going to ask you, hey, why do you feel like people take in joy in raping other people? Like, why is that a thing? Like, are you left? You're nah, not laughing, right? That's fucked up, but I know what it is. They but, yeah, but I know. Most, yeah. of, most of them been raped before, and they feel like they would have, they... They they couldn't do nothing. They and then they they come back like you know what I want to be the enforcer. It's, it's, it's I want to be the one. I want to mm-hmm. be the one that dominated that now because I got dominated yeah, before. So power. not things. me, but I'm just saying yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. they feel. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, I got things. dominated, so now I got to dominate. So so I, said, so I just, that's just like a nigga that had to make it clear. Like not nigga, me though. Not me. Like be real, most police, bro. You was a bitch. You was yeah, getting bullied on in school. Yeah. So now you want to put a badge on it and arrest the bully. Or yeah. the dude uh, that took your bitch. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, bro. You was never yeah, a street exactly. like So you want to fuck up everything that nigga got going on in the streets and fuck up niggas' household. Yeah. Just to say oh, you're oh, a righteous oh, man. Just to feel yeah. like And you strong. working for a man that's with the Ku Klux Klan. Exactly. So Bars. I, I, it is dominance. Yeah, go ahead. Like you so said. I, I asked that because. It's control. In sex Because cause, cause did y'all see that thing where it was an all white. Uh, Police force and they had a black lady just took over the force. And all the white men quit. The whole department. The whole yeah. department quit, bro. Whole. Oh school. shit! So what they tell you? What, bro? what was that? Out. Where was that? Was it North, I don't know. North Carolina, I don't, I don't South know. Carolina. It's in the South, though. South Carolina. I think it was South yeah, Carolina. South so South. some shit like that. Yeah. So the reason why I said the sex explain thing, they kind of broke down at the end of episode one, like people people have this all right, boom, this uh, predator and prey mindset. How even on, let's talk about the innocent level, how we try to get at women and women who just give it up like this. We like, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. When Shawty let you work for it. You. But really working for it is technically you're breaking down her barriers and her defenses. She got she she wants you to do that. She wants you to chase her. There's some women who take yeah. like you ever seen women who are, get submissive during sex or yeah. whatever. Most women are submissive during sex. Yeah. But. Some people take that to the next level, yeah. and that next level mm-hmm. ends up being rape. Like you ever seen? Like some women have rape fantasies. Women they have say that. rape fa- fantasies. Some women, some women are like, yo, I just want you to just bust in my house take and just me. take it from me. Like it's a fantasy. And that's it's a, a real thing. And here's the thing: people have that mindset. Like even if um, we've seen this in movies, they said this in Sex Explained, where a guy is with a woman and she's like, um, he kiss her, she slap him. Uh huh. And then they look at each other, and they start kissing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you now it's that? aggressive sex. They need that fight. And that's sexy. Whatever that, yeah, whatever that's that like, is. You know what I'm it saying? It turns that's them shit weird to me. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, yeah. but think about it. How, you ever been with your shawty? You slap me cuz. I'm like, Hey, they can figure that's you, but like, you ever been with your shawty? Don't be slapping me cuz. Shawty, she might Don't push you me. away. Like, Leave me alone. You like, oh, and she wants you to fight back, yeah. Leave me alone. You like, yeah, yeah. Going nah, I ain't doing that soft yeah. ass. I'm bitch, get your ass. Nah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that shit. No. Yeah, I'm gonna uh-huh. grip my ass. Yeah, like you hear what he's talking about? Fuck you talking about? Hey, man. Hey, man. Fuck you talking about? Hey, too pretty. For, hey, man. It's gangster yeah. right there. I don't know. So you think this is cool smacking them back and taking it? Like, I don't understand. Smacking them back. No, no. I, no, no. Like, I feel first. like she's she leading them on, bro. No, he thought it was mystical. He really went there, bro. He thought it was sweet. She kept Mystical is guilty. It's up, bitch. I'm sorry. He is guilty. 
Mystical is guilty. He yeah, guilty for shit, sure. Man. He, bro, this is his third offense. That nigga walk back Doing in the jail. The been so man, long. that man walking in jail right now oh with a broomstick up here. I love Mystical. Bro, I don't know. It upsets me because I love Mystical. I'd have been in jail before. I'm telling you what they do to rapists because they going to get down. Let you get cool. Thank everything. Smooth them boy going to get down. It's going to be a guard or something. They going to open that door for your ass. Talk into the mic. Oh, yeah, Wait, bro. What you just said? Them rapists, if you's a rapist in jail, goddamn, at least six times out of ten, niggas is gonna plot on you That's and 60%. put that broom in your ass, and you Ooh. finna goddamn be laughed at. And, and niggas gonna do what the fuck they want to do. You rap, but man? if I'm in jail right now, bro, you think I ain't finna think about if that was my mama, bro, that's my little sister, that's my auntie, bro, I'm finna put that broom stick up your ass, my dancer. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna make one of these niggas pin your ass down, we finna yuck. Nigga finna Ooh. show you how this shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't right, touch you, right. nigga. Got but this broom stick finna yeah. touch you in any way possible, graphic. nigga. You feel I me? Mean, no, I'm not going to hold you. But this is this is real shit, though. I'm not going to hold you. Because, bro, I, I could never let nobody jail? rape my, Don't go to jail. my sister, bro. I just, yo, listen. If a nigga rape my sister right now, bro, I'm shooting his ass. Like, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the same yeah, thing he's talking about right now. If, if it's just sister, if it's your mom, and and if it's your auntie. Like the fact I think about nigga rape my mama, bro, I'm ready to walk down on your church in front of your, your mama, your pastor. I'm like that. Yeah. I do it like that for real in front of everybody. Damn, no but I'm going to get a third day revolver, but I'm going to do it in front of everybody for real. Just like Frank <laughs> like, uh, the pastor do? Real, real, real niggas Cam understand Dalla the 38. Yeah. 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 All right, <laughs> motherfucking Cam Dalla on the check-in. You need, on, need to yeah. understand what the fuck going uh, on. Man, I, I can't, shit up, I can't, I can't be up. cool with it's that. Switch it up, switch it up. I'm going to say this, okay. Hey, I, Cam. Hmm. I like where it's going, my boy. <laughs> no, 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 it's real shit. Yeah, I want to I want to talk about a situation where I feel like... Let me reword it. I want to get vulnerable as men. Oh. This is an all men show. You want to hug? We never. No, 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 I'm not saying that. But I'm saying let's talk about some shit that that we don't never really talk about, right? So, yeah. Irv Gotti was on Drink Champs. Amazing, bro. Right? I love it. Great Irv, interview. Irv Gotti interview was amazing. Irv Gotti man. was on Any Drink Champs. Shout out to Fifty Cent. If you watching this, I'm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yo, Irv Gotti was on Drink Champs. And he was talking about the moment he found out that the girl that he was in love with was with another nigga. Mm. And I wanted to talk to a bunch of men Uh-oh. about that situation. Uh-oh. Like, we're going to get vulnerable. We, you know, look, let's, let's talk about let's it. Let's do it. Have we been a part of that situation? Has that happened to us before? Like, you trying now, so hard just to find out she got another nigga the whole time? So I, I'm, I'm, I, I go a step further, well, right? So Ir- Irv Gotti, Irv Gotti running his label. Ashanti is the new upcoming artist on the label. Um, the world sees chemistry. We don't know what they got going on at the time. We didn't they, know. We wasn't privy to we it. Thought, but we thought she was fucking with Ja. Yeah, low key. I thought she was fucking with Ja. Yeah, Ro. and Ja Apparently, was like, Nah, never hit. Irv, <laughs> ja right? was like, I never but hit. I the mean, whole world sees you know. some shit between y'all. <laughs> we think it's something. We're then watching a basketball game, and you pull up to the basketball game with the next nigga. So imagine being homie at home who thinks that me and you got something going on and now you out publicly with somebody else. I want to talk about that moment as men. And, and the fact I, that... I mean, it's fucked maybe up, Maybe how bro. he found out, though, was amazing. He found out on national television he, he was watching, that... Ooh. He, he, what was the story? Check this out. This is this how you found out. That he's Ashanti watching a basketball game. game watching right? the basketball game. Watching, watching the, the basketball game. The announcer's on the game like, okay, what's going on? The crowd is going crazy. Oh, Nelly and Ashanti walked into the basketball game. Damn. And he's like, fuck, I <laughs> thought that was my girl. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you y'all fellas. You know what fellas, it is, bro? I hate to say it, but as black men, you got to realize just your turn, bro. It's never your girl, cuz. Say mm. it with your chest, man. It's never your mm. girl, just your turn. So if you really put all your time never and money behind girl, her, it's bro. It's your turn. It's not your girl, you it's you, your turn. It's just your turn, bro. Don't never put all your eggs in one basket with these women, bro. Yo, so, uh, so, so what's the question? What's the question? Because I uh, even have uh, to. So, so, ask the question so the we can real answer. question that I want to ask is. Your girl leaves you for a quote unquote better nigga. Huh? Mm-hmm. How do you handle that? It Shit. depends on why she left. Wait, wait, we didn't talk about the first one. I'm done with it. It was the first one? Oh, my, oh, the first one was Have you ever been in a situation like oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, so, have you ever been in a situation like that with a show you trying to make? You ever been in a situation? Pull you, up with another nigga? Well, I found out like, later down the line. You trying to kick I, game I, to I, shorty I, I, and she pull up with a next nigga and you like, fuck, I thought I had a chance. I'm going to be honest, no. I you know. never had that situation? How about you, Jay? I've had that situation. Break it down. Cool. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll progress the conversation. I've been with somebody, like 
we claimed each other. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. We claimed each other. Ooh, a hurts. new nigga was introduced who was, quote, unquote, better than me. Mm. And because of situations in life, Shorty chose that guy over me. Because mm. of what he could do for or, or what she thought could have happened. Oh, and I'm sitting there like, That's what, what the do. fuck? That's crying That's in the room, do, holding a pillow. <laughs> but I, I, so I, I go, I, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit, right? So we go back to college day. This is college, right? This is college, right? This is college, right? <laughs> Shit, boy. I love you. But that's why I said, that's I, I was, that's that, that's no, I, 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 <laughs> you was always a good nigga trying to do right and really love her the yeah, right way. You feel me? Like, yeah. I, I want to have this conversation yeah, as a man. I'm the side nigga to you. Now let's like, do it. I, was I, I, I want to have this hippie. conversation because I feel like we, we don't speak about this conversation, right? All so, right, yeah. right. I was with a young lady. Um, we were together. We was rocking. It was, everything was great. You was in love? I, th- I thought so. Uh-huh. But at that, t- at that time, I didn't know. That's I don't know no better. Pillow. That's the. Uh, yeah, I, I thought. <laughs> I, I don't know. Usher had fucking You Got It Bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this you is mean, a good thing. Yeah, you yeah, music yeah. at nighttime, you want you somebody f- to cuddle with. You feel me? <laughs> it's that time R&B was really R&B. <laughs> yeah. You know real shit? Bro, there's a Trey song song specifically that's on my mind right now. Day. You got it bad. They sure had on the but listen, this is back in the day. Yeah. I'm, I'm with Shorty. I'm like, nah, we're gonna be together forever. This is amazing. Um, we went to we we went we went to high school together. Okay. We then went to college together. Oh shit. She got a full ride on some uh, the smart shit. Mm-hmm. I got a a, a a a half a ride, partial ride on some athletic shit. So, I get there. I'm trying to get the full ride. I don't get it. So, yeah. obviously, you need to pay money. Yeah. I don't come for money. Right. So, my mom is like, yo. You got to take out a loan. You ain't get your reparations, no, bro. No, you got to bring your ass home. My mm. mom was like, yo, I, I don't got she it. She ain't got it. Wow. So, bring your ass home. Yeah. So, shorty stayed. Uh, I left. It was I came back to Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm with the hooligans. I get caught up in some shit. I get arrested. Like, is, is, you, like you're from you. You. You get caught up in the black man life type shit. So sis is away at college. She's like, I see my life, my projection going a certain way. <laughs> you back home, you doing nigga shit. You want to be a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get locked. You getting. She pretty much trying to fucking somebody. I'm trying not to hurt your feelings. She with fucking. So I find out she fucking the point guard of the basketball team oh, that I was no. associated with. Oh, like, the nigga that was behind you who took your spot. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, wait, wait. Who was, so, the, wait well, who was the star point wait, guard? Was he second oh, wait, wait, or was he second was a, He was a starter. He was a starter? He was a point guard. Damn. She, she leveled up. She leveled up. I, I, I'm, not mad leveled at, up. I'm not mad at sis at all. Do what you got to wow. do. At the time I was mad, when I look back at it, I'm not mad, right? Yeah. But. What I'm saying is I, I can resonate I can resonate with this because now it's like sis came back home, right? Yeah. This is, we, we both in college, right? Yeah. I got arrested. I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm the hood nigga, quote unquote. Right. I'm trying to find my way through. She goes to the university. She got the full Niggas ride. Got shit in order. Yeah. She got her shit. Her life is now mapped out. I'm the hood nigga, technically, yeah, in crazy. her life. Mm-hmm. So she sees me as the quote unquote dead weight. So... That's why this resonates with me, because now you see your girl, who you think is your girl, and you're like, nah, that's the one for me, and she done moved on with somebody else. You did, wait. And now you the, you, you the earth got it. Right. All right, so for me, bro. Right. And she like, and he a better basketball player than you. You feel me? Oh. And he played ball. And right. he played ball better than so, you. So how? Oh, and so oh. hook you. <laughs> Never that. 30. I ain't going to lie, bro. Oh. I wouldn't be mad. It's just the only thing that made me mad the fact that my homeboys ain't going to shut the fuck up talking about it. Nigga nah. gonna goddamn clown you. They gonna let that shit ride forever. They gonna let it ride, but I don't give a fuck. Hold on, you ready? Yeah. They gonna let that shit ride forever. Don't don't let them say that because he ain't shit and he ain't shit. What you I'm mean? You I'm, I am shit. There's a there's a, there's a so <laughs> how you claim I'm more shit? Than shit. I am so more shit was, than you. <laughs> I met these niggas when I was um like ni- when I was 19, right? You were yeah, you were 27 20. now. When I was like 19, I met these niggas 19, yeah. 18. Yeah, I know um, you all your adult life, brother. That's a fact. That's, that's a, a fact. Nah, that's that's a fact. fact. He was like 28 at the time. Whoa, he right, was so look, 38. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, relax. This nigga's nah, 64. So, look, look, look. So, so I, had a, I had a shorty who, she was like a year older than me, but she was on some Hollywood shit. Bad. We're going to call her Mar. We're going to call her Lisa. We're going to call her Lisa. Let's call her Lisa. 
Shorty fine. My sh- we believe you, bro. I believe we believe you. Got you got phone. No, we believe big, you. big fine. Like heavy on the fine. Fine. So much of a fine that and your she, license gets suspended. And she better now. That's probably one of my like my first nines, if that makes sense. Like my first nine. So we together for months. I'm bringing her around. Blah blah. blah. She come from she from come from Miami, and her father was also some like big lawyer oh, representing I know drug what had people. Come from the bag. She got money. I know what had come she got from the bag. And she fucking with me. I'm the, I'm a handsome, charismatic guy who could really get to the soul. You feel well, me? We niggas from so Brooklyn. We chopping it up. She we the we basically together. But Shorty never let me touch. <laughs> never <laughs> hit. Boom, boom, I didn't boom. care because one, we wasn't technically in a relationship. But if she found out I was talking to another Shorty, she'd be mad. And she already know that she could She never showed me that she was talking to another nigga. But I had other Shorties on the side that I was hitting. So Until at 19, exactly. I didn't. I'm, I was like, yo, my fault. I did the same I'm shit. not gonna press you. I'm gonna work this this, shit, this, this boyfriend yeah. lane. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna work this boyfriend lane until you hit, cause I'm still getting boxed elsewhere, right? Shorty never let me clip. I brought around the bros thousand times. She let one of them hit, not you. I don't know. No. I have a feeling. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I have a feeling, not you. Uh, I, I, I know. I know. I didn't. But either way, because if way. I did, <laughs> either way, anyway, <laughs> nah, she's back. Fire. So yes. <laughs> then we stopped talking. I, I realized I stopped kind of messing with her because she was moving where I moved on to a white shorty who was just as thick, same characteristics, but just white. She kind of got mad, stopped talking or whatever. I Three can't. months later, she wants you maybe to. that same year, bro, she pop up with a baby, bro. <laughs> pop up with a baby. She was getting smashed the whole time. Lego. So back to Earth Gotti watching it, watching the game. Look at me, Lola. We still chopping it up though. We still cool. This Don't is Irv. I'm, I'm this is Irv Gotti you watching you the know game. What, I went through the same shit, bro. Bro, bro, and then look, she done had the baby and still think that. Okay, I had the baby now. Now can I just goddamn work Now these nuts. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Now like you didn't even nuts. let me hit the whole time. Now you want to let me hit me. because you got a baby and the baby daddy must I don't want you. Now you might let me hit wrong. You said now I these nuts. You didn't let me hit. Period. Now you have a kid, and now you like, oh Lamar. I like what she you got going on. She wants some help, on. bro. She wants some help. Right? Yeah, yeah, she wants. What the fuck? You want to keep talking to me because I was real. I was cool. Whatever. Can I interject? Can I interject? I'm would you? Pissed. Would you? Would you have wife? Don't be a would sucker, I have bro. I, I, I'm just, if I hit at that time, I, I want. I'm I want, just curious. I want okay, to interject. As your friend and knowing who this is, would you have wife? Twenty-seven-year-old Lamar now with what I know and who I am. Hell no. Okay. Twenty nineteen. Back then, Lamar. Yeah. Thousand percent. Right, if she said, yo, it was like just yo, answer the she question. Said, yo, Lamar, to get this pussy, yeah. I'd be a girlfriend. I'm like, I do. <laughs> I would have said, I do. Thanks. What you mean? Like, let's, let's I, mean, I, 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 I respect it. it. I respect it because as, you, it. as you aged, you became more seasoned. Hey, Lisa, I know you somewhere out I there. Seen it, I, 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 I will say, I will say, I do like. She might watch the show. Don't be. No, no, relaxed. no. no. I'm gonna say this. I'm I a, I do I'm like hit, when when we do tell those stories I'm because eventually, as men, quote me unquote, girl, we are the only one going through shit. We all, no, but not even. We always act like we don't go through shit. Yeah, yeah we oh, got. Way, we, we got the vibrato. We like clown me for years, generations. Okay. I no, 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 accidentally no, no, asked no, you today. Every time they see me, no, I, no, I did. Every Which time they funny, see no, me, no, but I, I asked you today, and not even knowing that we was gonna talk about this. Every time they see me, <laughs> I literally was like, like, "Did you ever?" Hey, bro, you never clip Lisa. You never. But can I answer that? Bro, you never clip Lisa. Can I answer that? You ain't hit. No, but I'm so I'll sorry. show him, bro. But look, no, wait, wait. <laughs> I had a girl, I had a girl just as bad. <laughs> so you ain't I, hit this I'm one. Be, I'm gonna be honest. I had a girl, well, listen, let me tell you this. I want more money, smarter. I want to. Let me tell you this. I will tell you this. Now that you're telling me this, I will leave it alone. I didn't know that because I dead ass asked you earlier. Today, dead ass, like big day. Twenty. Today, eight years. I was like, bro, you still ain't never. Yes. Remember? Yeah. He was trying to get on my ass. I will not. I will leave it alone. No, it's it's. Oh, that scared it's, the shit out of me, though. Not that's nuts, right there. That's no, nuts. No, but I'm talking. But I got scared. What I will say is this. What I <laughs> will say is right this. Nah. What I will say is this. I didn't know all of that. I didn't know either. But that's why I like this show, and I hate the fact that as men we can't talk about shit because yeah. we got our fucking egos is so puffed out. We can't have a conversation of us being vulnerable at I all. I told you. So, wait. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't before want to we, yeah, yeah, I don't want to change it. The re- 
the fact that we could become vulnerable and the, the fact that Irv Gotti could be watching TV right. and see his chick with the next nigga and feel away. No it's not. <laughs> it's not. But, it's not a chick. but his interest. Yeah. But, 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 but hear me out. Whatever he thought it was. Let's let's multiply the conversation. He can see his chick with a nigga, or I can see my chick with a nigga, or you can see your chick have a baby by somebody else. What I'm saying is these not conversations the are not time. had. That's true. Men don't talk about this. We yeah, don't talk about it, and that's why that's why I'm like, yo, this is dope because. We always come out as the victor and Bruh, shit. I was, I was hurt. Nah, I nah. No, I ain't gonna lie. You was I, was hurt, I was hurt. I was hurt. I was. See, I think our problem, bro. Me, bro, personally, I grew up listening to Chris Brown, Usher, believing in loving a girl and being with her forever. My first girl, I thought I was gonna be with her forever, bro. Mm. And whoop, do whoop, do whoop, and we yeah. just. And then you get That's a little R&B. older and realize this shit corny as hell, bro. So the, the, R, the R&B, the R&B ruined make it? you realize, like, R&B as, as a kid, ruined it. it. It ruined reality, bro. Like, it's it's not your girl. You're doing all this crazy shit in your mind thinking it's finna be this shit that Usher did with his girl. And you're not finna not, do that with her, bro. It's yeah. not. Yeah. So, so, do you, Yo. so let me ask you a question. Do you believe in monogamy, being with one girl forever? Being one girl forever? One girl, one sex, one. I believe not. it. I believe, so what, what, what does your perfect picture look like when you settle down? I feel like, if anything, I could be able to tell my wife, like, damn, she fine. She want to talk to me. Like, you cool with me talking to her? And if anything, you got a nigga want to talk to you? And I don't really, I ain't into you like that. You go talk to you another nigga, I talk to another girl. Wait, wait, wait. Re- rewind. What rewind. you mean by I ain't really re- into you like that? Yeah, what you like, mean? If, if, that's, get to the point, if that's your if wife. If I'm married to you and I get to the point where I'm not into you no more, you don't, you uh, to the point where I'm, I can't just fuck you when I want, but I'm your wife and you like, I got a partner right now. He cannot fuck his wife. Why? He be talking about he can't fuck. I'm like, bro, cheat on her. I can't, bro. She going to get 50%. And it's like, bro, oh. like now it's like, bro, I'm never getting married because I'm never going to look like you, bro. I'm, uh, You know yeah. what? I'm never going to get married because I don't even want to go through that. Unless yeah, you're going to sign, oh, yeah. sign a prenup, I'm not yeah. getting married, bro. Because now I, I'm stuck with you. You're going to get half the, my money. That's another and you can cheat on me and get my money if you don't get caught. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's a different another conversation. conversation. That's, that's so you believe in prenups, bro? I believe I, I'm not getting married I, if I'm signing a prenup. So any girl that ever want to be so my hey, wife, so if, my if any girl in the world want to be my wife or ever plan on being my wife, you so not hey, signing so a prenup. So you wouldn't sign a prenup. I can't wait to go back married? to this. Oh, I'm, I would sign a prenup because I don't need her money. But if she can't sign a prenup for me, fuck her. But a prenup means you never loved me. Well, I, I, I never you loved. Have an escape plan. Yeah, because bitch, I need one. Cause hoe, fuck you, bitch. Hey, hey, I got hey, my money, bitch. At this point. Hey. At this point, I'm broke. Ain't no prenups. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I need you, you know to come through crazy? with the money. I, don't really think I, I got love, you. The don't got nothing to do with it. Yeah, did y'all, it's business. Did y'all talk about uh, uh, division song yet? Y'all yeah, talk about the last if, song. If I get caught, y'all ain't talk about it. No, we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Real, topic? You, you know. think people got married for 20, 30 years and they cheated once? Well, at least seen what do y'all think about this? Not possible. Bring it on. Let's talk about it. Check it out. And I seen one person that were interested in it. Let's talk about it. Let's do a music conversation. Let's talk about that. Have you heard of the song that says? Is it? Guy by name of Division. It's Division. Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group. It's an artist and a producer. Yeah, it's two it niggas. It came out with a song. Damn, you know that. It came out with a song called. Um, if I get caught. If I get caught. Basically, it goes. If I get caught God cheating. Man. Yeah. That don't mean I don't love you. Right. Do you agree with that? Like that song. Yeah. Like, do you, like it don't mean I don't shit? love you. It just mean I don't, you're like, not why? doing why? everything to make me happy. You ain't doing anything to make me happy, so I'm going to cheat on you with a girl that's making me happy, but I still love you. I'm going to come home, and I still got the same feeling for you, but the shit that you ain't doing, I'm going to find another girl just like the shit I ain't doing, you're going to find another nigga. So what if a girl is doing all the shit that she want her to do? I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Wait, wait, I'm going to be said, real. I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. You said, what, you said he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going to do nothing. If, if oh, she yeah. doing everything well, I want, do I ain't going nowhere, I mean, bro. Well, but I, and and, and then I'm going to be sprung, and then I'm going to want to marry her. I'm going to be real. But until I find something like that, I'm going to have my I'll fun tell you with you this. hoes. And my he was not expecting you to say that. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I, <laughs> I mean, bro, you, I got, when you got something real, bro, you got to appreciate it, bro. Because these hoes is for everybody, bro. But not so, that one. So here's what I realized, right? So <laughs> I posted something the other day by Michael Sartain. Michael Sartain is this white, smart. He's like a. He's white. We don't fuck with him. Next. You wild. Mm-hmm. That nigga I'm joking. Is, I'm joking. He's like, like a. I'm joking, white people. He's I like fuck a, with you. He's like a, white boy, if you know who Dan Bazarian is, he's like a clean cut Dan Bazarian. He's like, yeah. a, like a playboy type. He dude. fuck wild white bitches. Yeah. Wild white bitches. Mm. Um, so Dan posted something. He was like, yo, like men, like basically men. It's an appetite type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but men fuck multiple shorties for variety. No matter how much they care and love you specifically, mm-hmm. women, like, we could be perfect. Eventually, I'm on variety. Women, like, I, 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 I heard something it. as well that says, yo, during in sex, women could go, 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 go until God come back. You feel me? High sex drive. 
men have a higher appetite to where I'm gonna do 20 with you. I want to do 20 with you. I want to do 20 with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we go, keep it going there. Now, you know what I'm saying? But, but that doesn't my, mean that my that's love my theory. It's not that's my, my main show. That's my, that's my theory between tabs and slots. That's why that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Break it down again. But you gotta think about it. We men, bro. We meant we not meant to, bro. I'm gonna be real, bro. We not meant to be with just one female. That's what the white man in the and Bible see, said, bro. And that's why we this meant makes to sense. nothing as much can I, can females as possible and make as many babies quick, as bro? possible and keep mm-hmm. populating, bro. Okay, so so we so, meant to keep can I break populating. Break it down real quick. Hold on. No, I break it down real quick. I just want to ask the question towards that. If if you don't mind, if you okay. do mind, I shut the fuck up. I promise you. It's okay. If you say I mind, I shut up. I'm not, no, I don't. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I'm just being a dick. I, I would have said it. I don't. Right. I'm saying, I, I gave it. I don't mind for. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind for. My my statement <laughs> to that is. Says who, bro? If every dude was stuck my with theory. one girl right now, bro, it wouldn't even be this many babies here right now, bro. It wouldn't be this many people here. No, but 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 your theory, and bro. Like, before this Bible, how many people were really married, bro? How many people? That's why my theory makes sense, you guys. Like, bro, you don't know how many people really were married before then. You don't know if, if women's job was just to bend over and let us fuck them and they have our babies and we take care of the community and make sure all they do is sit at home and take mm-hmm. care of the baby while we bring all the food, while we do all the hunting, we do all the oh, protecting. Man. You don't know if it turned out like that before but slavery I, I, came. I, I, I say, I say, they but I, I say this. On the flip side, you don't know that to not be true either. No, I can't no. But I done heard so many stories. I don't know what to believe. But I believe at the end of the day, men, we, are, we have semen. And girls have pussies, and we are meant to nut in them and have babies. And that's just what I believe. <laughs> Married or not, hey, we put another y'all and have some babies and keep this world going around. But yeah. that's okay. Hey, For population so, so then, purposes. So, so then let me, money, yo, let, me, let, me let me let me flip it. Let me flip it on you. Because, go ahead, Dan, go ahead, because go ahead. if I flip this on you, it's gonna fuck you up. I got this theory. I call it tabs and slots. Yeah. Right? We know what the tab is, tab A and the slot B. When we yeah. was kids, we had to push it together, tabs or even a box, because niggas be like, I ain't, I ain't have tabs and slots. And niggas always try to hit me with that shit. A tab's job is to tab. You tab. A slot job is to be slotted. You get slotted by tabs. You get right? filled. Filled with a tab, which is, right? So it's a very basic concept, right? Mm-hmm. The, way, the reason why we feel how we feel is because we're the tabs, bro. So let's flip it. Let's say you had a vagina. Women had dicks. Would you let women fuck you the way you feel? How you fuck women? Just think about it for a second. I ain't it, it, just the life change, boom, God said, different. Women have dicks, men have vaginas. It's a little different because you wouldn't let them same motherfuckers tab you the same way how we tab. Think about it for a second. Think about the girls that you fucked. Would you let those girls fuck you? Just think about it. That's valid. That's valid. I don't got no pussy, so I never know. No. <laughs> but how, how about this? I don't got no pussy either, but I'm going to say <laughs> no. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no. <God>. No. To- <laughs> but do you see what I'm trying to say? I don't. I, wait, wait, I, yo, Cam, I cannot Cam, agree Cam, more Cam, than Cam, I. Cool. Cam, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I love you. I love but you. that's the answer. Cam, what I, I'm saying I, is. I love you like a brother, Cam. I'm going to say that's bullshit. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Because that's a bullshit, bullshit man with dick it's answer. Bull- no, hey, that, Once again, if we flip yes. the scenario. Go there. That, I can't bullshit. even think of it really. I but, swear but to God, that's, I can't. That's that's bullshit to me. But the reason why that's but the reason why that's important real quick. The reason why value. The reason why that's important is because a woman feels a way about what enters her body. Yes. Like, that's real. And you know I, what I'm saying? I know. If that's yes. the case, I, I don't just fuck anything, bro. I gotta. I, I, I gotta really like a girl to fuck her, bro. No, no. I got one thing about it, bro. You could look good, but the minute I feel like your life ain't together, you broke or any type of thing that I just. Turn me off, like you know. You could look good, but you st- you stay in your car. I it's just amazing that we have an you stay, attitude. You stay in your car. Like you fine as hell, but you stay in your seat. Y'all car. I don't want to stay in your car. You, you a headache. We have this specific attitude. No, no. It's just, it's just amazing yeah. to me that men have this specific attitude. Get out of your because car. Because life is a certain way, and it's like, and if you just even hypothetically flip it, it's like, yo. I wouldn't let all these like you would have to be in love with me to get up in this pussy, nigga. Like you know what I mean? Like I the way I feel. All that. I just but I, you you I'm be. A, I'm a pick and, I pick and you would pick and choose, like, right? You got to look good and have your shit together for you to even have a chance. Hey, get That's it. Like, like as long as she look good and has shit together, she get a chance, bro. But if she if she ain't got her shit together and she look good, then nah, she just a headache. But you know the one thing I do like about what you're saying, though, in real life and what I've heard consistently, you talk about women that got their shit together. Yeah, like you got to no, hate. No, but I, I'm different. getting my shit together. But so he's I kept it consistent, consistent the whole time. Because yeah, most dudes get on some, yeah, but when them titties get to popping, nigga, the ass, nigga, the goddamn Man, ass. Man, I don't give a fuck. That shit don't mean Are nothing you consistently, to me. 
I like Yo, that. How yeah, about this? Fam, how about this? How about this? We've been trying this? to throw you. We've been trying to throw you. I don't want to talk it. about. <laughs> you know what's funny? Shit together. <laughs> we've we've had music conversations. We have an artist with us tonight. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I we feel give like. Him some time? What's that? My bad. Real quick, before we move, can, we gonna give him. Can we talk about what he's doing? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. what the fuck. I, I know you did it early on the mm-hmm. thing. We're gonna we're gonna do it again. You know what I mean? Um, my thing is. I want to talk about some shit that's happening in the industry right now. Mm. Um, we are all artists. Um, I feel like we should talk about it because shit is happening. Yeah. But Beyonce dropped an album. Oh, my God. I ain't even heard. I was you not prepared hear? for that one. I did not hear that one. No, no. You didn't hear it? I no. didn't hear that. Damn. Okay, cool. No, the album, yeah, but I'm talking this topic. Yeah. Come on now. I I'm like fresh, that. I'm from Chicago. Um, I got all kind of opinions. Beyonce dropped the album. It was a, It's a dance pop album. Mm. Um... We know the sound already. You just, when you say yeah. dance pop, we already know the sound. Yeah, yeah, That's not it. really our sound, but we get it yeah. type shit. Um, she sampled a bunch of people yeah. because that's what fucking, that's what it is. I'm a producer, bro. That's what we do. Cool. Khalees was sampled. Yeah. You know Khalees. Milkshake. Did you know what um, happened? After? I hate you so much right now. Bro, I'm about to tell you what happened. What okay. the fuck? Are you, are, you, are you dumb? I'm trying mm-hmm. to like, Come on speed him up. Oh. Um, <laughs> Beyonce sampled a song, a Khalees song, mm-hmm. and She's paid... one of her top songs, too. Yeah, it paid the people who are credited yeah. for the actual song. Pharrell and the mm. production. And so Pharrell shit. and a couple other people who are credited on Khalees' song. Mm. Khalees then went on internet and said, the industry's fucked up. You know, God, good and goddamn well, that's my record. You should have credited me. Why? I'm, I'm sorry. You should have put me as a writer. As a song. Yeah, that's how that's how you get credited. That's how you get paid. No, that's how you get paid. Yeah, because Khalees is credited. The publishing, right? The pub. We're talking about yeah. pub now, the right? Yeah, 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 of course. And the 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 bigger conversation is what do you now do with your pub? And that's what I'm saying. I, I wanted to talk to artists about publishing and what do you sign over. I ain't when, signing over when, shit. You say that. I already but, doing. <laughs> but that's now. We have all yeah. the information now. Back in the day when Khalees was going through it, she didn't have that information. I'm going to be real, yeah. bro. And I'm, I know the labels ain't going to want to hear this, bro. But don't nobody need a label no more unless you broke, bro, and you just need the extra push and you just don't know what you're doing. You need somebody who know what they're doing to do it for you because you don't got the time, bro. Agreed. If niggas really got the time to get their own paperwork, learn how to market their own shit, learn how to create their own artwork and their own content, do you really need a label, bro? Especially if you, you build don't. a solid fan base of 100,000 on your own of people that do what you say when you drop do you really need a label and if you drop once a week will you outdo the labels because every artist on the label only drop when the label say right but if i could drop yeah. every day and you can't and i just hit 10 million this month you only drop once i, I, hit 10 I win million, i win i win yeah. and and your label's gonna be irrelevant if i keep doing it for three more months so if a lot more people start being independent and getting all of their money in publishing mm-hmm. then yeah you'll make more money and these labels will have to come with some more money to get you if they would have to give you the label. Just so cool. That's why I respect dogs. Oh. So where, on. Where, where are you Come from on. originally? I'm from Mississippi. Okay. I had a show with Dolph. Come on. I just like the way he thought. Nah, Come I on. had a chance to meet him. Dolph is different. I'm saying that on, on Dolph purpose. Dolph boss, bro. Because Dolph ain't giving you shit. Because but the, the Southern Hustle has been nothing. different. No, because they saw the industry fuck niggas over for years. Yeah, so. and, and, and now it's a chance for niggas to get their own y'all, money. Yeah. Why would you sign when now it's a chance for you to get 100% of your royalties? But that's so something that y'all know. But I, I, I want to say niggas that's something can get 100% that y'all know in the royalties, South. Bro. That like, that's something that y'all know in the South that niggas from didn't watching know that. mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you bro. some real shit. That's like, why I ain't been dropping Bro, money. I'm from Chicago originally. I've been in New York for 10 years. I watched 100,000 artists get signed, get on, do their thing, and then get fucked. Because you're, I literally you're signed, that. You, you take an advance, bro. When you take an advance, these niggas give you 100K for advance, right? Okay, well, now I get your 100K advance. I get 100% of your royalty. I just gave you this advance for your royalty. A nigga give you advance, so you don't get no royalty. I give you a million dollars advance right now. You get no royalty. Everything you drop this year is mine. You made 20 million. That's my 20 million. But, okay, I gave you a million up front, so this is my 20 million. Let me ask you real quick, yeah. and I know we, we kind of getting away from it, but what? how did you learn that? Cause that's the information that now I know. Yeah, I got great hairs in my beard now. But when yeah. I was twenty, I didn't know that um, shit. I was we I was trying to get a deal, to bro. To be honest, bro, I hit half a million views last year on United Masters, and it just ain't show for it when yeah. I got paid, and I didn't understand. So 
I stopped dropping music. I deleted this shit. I said, I'm going to redrop it and try again. This time I had my paperwork set up so I get all my money. Mm -hmm. And I realized I didn't have my ISRC code set up. So and you I, said you said that was through United Masters. United Masters. So United now Masters. I'm with TuneCore, and, and, and they, they pay way they, better. United what? Masters, they going to give you a free account. You could drop for free. Yeah, drop for free. Yeah. Because we're going to get half of your money. We gonna take all your money anyway. You don't, and you only. They say you get one hundred percent royalty. They never say you are gonna get one hundred percent publishing. So no, you might not get no publishing. It, it, it's funny because United Masters is that platform that says that they're for the artist, Man. by the artist. Right, like they, they do everything the right way. Yeah. Like, that's what Steve said. Yeah. He came on Breakfast Club and he broke it down. Basically, you know said like, like, like yeah. they, they're for the artist, by the artist. They do everything the right way. They they do right by the artist. Bro, they give you your own ISRC code. They give you an ISRC code. This is social security number for your song, bro. Yes. If they give yeah, you the, the ISRC code, do you own your song anymore? They no. just gave you the social security number to your song, bro. Yeah, so they own I put my codes on there, and then I drop my so, shit. I don't right. drop a song without me getting myself a code, bro. Since we break it's it down shit real like quick. You, you, don't know. Fuck, I just you, gave fuck, with, uh, you fuck with Distro oh, Kid? Hold on, before we. I'm fuck with TuneCore. TuneCore. Still TuneCore. Okay. Go can ahead. You, can you break that down a little louder? Break um, what down? So I'm clear, I've been quiet because this ain't my conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not my bag at this all. This ain't my. Bring don't it know back to booty me. and titties. Yeah. Hey man, know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I, I live where I live at. You feel me? I so be fucking it up. RSC codes. RSC. I S R S C. Yeah. Can yeah. International sound recording. International what? International sound recording code. The scan right. on the back of the CD. Yeah. ISRC. Okay. ISRC. Can you break that down? What is that? Why it's, is that important? It's a social how security number how for your. How can you lose it? It's a social security number pretty much to your song. So, like, just like how you got a social security number to who you are, you got a social security number to your song. You got to have a certain code for them to know anytime your song gets being played, anything that happened to this song, it's going to have to get reported to this code over here. This is how you get paid on BMI, mm -hmm. Sound Exchange. You know, all your royalty. That's cat. Two point when they give you 100%, you still got to have BMI set up, sound exchange. You got to yeah. register on sound scan so you can get on the gotta billboard. Get the sound scan. You got to know what's going. Scan, See, yeah. most people don't know what's going. They just want to rap to look cool. You got to sit back and learn it. I didn't sit back and learn it. I That's just dropped last year, had a half a million. I got some followers. I, yeah, I did all that, but I didn't get no money. You didn't bro. get no money out of it. I didn't yeah. get the money I right. supposed to get because I didn't right. know what I was doing. Then I, I met somebody here, wanted to let him do it. He finna get all my money. I, I finally let the PR do it. Find I missed $8,000. Like, Shit. you know what I'm saying? So, let me ask you, uh, the paperwork that you said you set up, what is that paperwork? What is the steps that you the went through? The same stuff that the label's going to do, but instead you're doing it for yourself. Like, 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 like if you don't mind, I probably might be too you much. You could copyright your song say for like $100. This, say, like, this, this, this is what I did okay. to really get myself set up. Copyright.gov, this is how I copyright my song. Okay, you can give it a label, they can copyright your song, right? They own your song. You copyright it for $100, you own your song. Yeah, you could get an ISRC code. You pay eight dollars. You make an account. You make a hundred thousand codes for the year. So you could drop a hundred thousand songs, make a hundred thousand codes. Or you could let a label do it. They own all your songs. You dropped all year. You know what I'm saying? You could get record a session and tell them to send you the session on the flash drive. You got your masters. Or you could just let the label record all your sessions, keep up with everything, and they own all your masters. Like you gonna have to boss up, or you gonna let somebody be your boss? Mm. And I ain't finna let nobody be my boss, bro. So, so, so with that being said, I don't like people telling me what to do, bro. So with that being said, what you just said, I could relate it towards business, right? Yeah. Um, I started two businesses uh, in the past, like, five, four months, five months. And what I realized, one of them I, try, I was thinking about starting last year. What I realized is that a lot of people don't have their paperwork set up properly, not number one, just to run, right. um, just mm -hmm. to operate correctly as a business. 100%. Number two, just make sure they have full ownership. Number three, mm -hmm. um, make sure they have all the licensing that they need, whether the zoning or whatever. Yep. Uh, make sure they have all the credentials they need to operate at full capacity as a business, no matter who asks any kind of questions. Right. And also receive the proper tax benefits as necessary yeah. uh, based on how much money they have, how many employees they have, or whatever it is. You feel me? And They don't teach us this shit. They, 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 if, they, if they taught us, we would outdo them. Yeah. So, what so, have we not outdid them in? So look. So the reason why that I say that is that's smart. No. As we'll a talk. community, it's a fact. As a community, the reason why I wanted you to break that down, we're learning. I know a lot of our community is learning more on a business type shit. Like, like right now, I feel like the black community in general, well, everybody, but mainly our community, yeah. is on an entrepreneur high. Mm -hmm. We are agree. Everybody, like when I talk to niggas now, I like I like the fact that some people get uncomfortable. Yeah. If they can't say they do nothing other than their job. Right. You feel yeah. me? And it's not 
again, nothing's wrong with a job, but at the end of the day, we need to respect, we need to understand what a job is and that they don't respect you in that building. You are a number. And right. when you really hone that, you understand that you always need something else. Oh, you always need to be pushing something else. You could use that forever. Mm. You could work your whole job, but make money outside. I feel like you should use your job to save your money and invest in yourself. Okay. That's what it's about. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but That's I, the name I of the my game. first job to get three bricks. Mm. Yeah, I got them three bricks. Never worked a job for a little minute. I Until feel. I went to jail, I said, you know what, I'm going to start doing right. Then I worked a job, got on probation, worked a job. Now mm-hmm. I'm just going and putting all my money in this music. And I treat music like the dope game. Now. Like, I, I invest in my music just like I used to invest in the brick. Let me invest in the ad on YouTube, run an advertisement to my shit to me so I get my money back. Thousand percent. You see what I'm saying? So, and then wait, reinvest. Yeah. How you just keep broke reinvesting down, like, like it's dope. How you yeah. broke down the system of, of course, people, you know, what he says, you got to go ahead and do your research, do your homework. Oh, I take, definitely did my research. But, no, yeah, you, but I'm saying, it's, it's nice I don't words. get no sleep. I'm trying to stay ahead. I'm trying to see what these labels doing to y'all, the child, and never know, and I found out. I even figured out how to label market all their artist pages. I know what they do to make you get all these new fans on a daily basis, and it's smart, and uh, it's mm. just smart as hell. So what did you, my bad, my bad. So those nights when you was super... You want some crazy bro? My fool, bro. It's four o'clock right now. Let's be honest. We up right now, active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in the morning, everybody sleep. We over here doing the I'm interview. Not gonna man. hold you. So I knew a guy, and he was he was hustling. He was scamming. I know that whenever Buddy wanted a new jug, he would stay up three days, four days straight on the dark net, Just whatever, going shit. crazy. Okay, I fuck with you. You know tellies, what's going on. Join new telegrams that's, or whatever. Yeah, that's what's going. On. And a new jug was going to drop. That was going. You might get a couple BSs. But the same hustle that I realize certain niggas do in the scam game or the drug game or whatever, if you shift that mindset and you replace the product, that's the same and, hustle yeah. that you could throw over. And, that's it's, why and I it's like, real, bro. Because I got a couple people around my circle, bro. They Okay, this is the thing. I'm, a, I'm, I'm starting to rap now, right? I'm doing interviews and stuff with y'all. I really ain't been a rapper, bro. I'm really an engineer producer, bro. I used to record a lot of artists, right? I used to tell them, let me do your marketing. Let me do your promo. I could blow you up. Niggas didn't want to listen, right? I just started rapping, right? I'm gonna have more followers than all of them. I got a million views on my YouTube channel. You ain't got a hundred thousand. You ain't wanna listen to me, but I'm showing you what I do. Now you want me to do it, but I'm finna get verified and all the other shit. You might not ever get a chance to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Better yet, the price that I told you when I met you, because you didn't take me serious. Woo! You see what I'm saying? And Real it's like, shit. bro, ever since I just like right now, I've been chilling with y'all for two hours, right? I made 250 a promo. I already just sitting here hey. chilling with y'all. And hey. like, your shit. And it's just like almost like selling dope. Like, you know what That's I'm saying? why we here, like, bro. I probably would have been trying to trap a zip out 10 of G's, yeah. 28 grams. I just made 280. I just made 250 when well, I'm sitting with y'all because niggas need promo on their Instagram. I don't know how to market, bro. And now they want to listen and they know that once I get the blue but check, now you might taxing. not ever talk to me. No, I'm, I'm but now I'm taxing, taxing once I get my blue check. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah. I'm texting. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm, I'm charging my normal price. I'm showing love right now. I ain't texting nobody, bro. But when I get my blue check, I'm texting. Cause well, yo, the fact that you on my page, he not gonna tax and, us and my page so authentic. Mm-hmm. I'm checking. He not gonna tax us. He said it on the show. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna tax. I'm not texting none of my homeboys. We he appreciate not you us. being here, bro. I'm marking it right now for y'all podcast. No, cap. yo, like, we do appreciate like, you being like, here, man. Like this, like this, this, this video talk. right now, be on. It's not here unless ten thousand because I'm gonna run the advertisement. We gonna yeah. talk. Niggas need to run right. advertisement. It ain't nothing ashamed about running advertisement. How we doing? At all? What you mean? What you want to do? You want you want go more? You want chill? I'm enjoying. Getting the information. Yeah. No, this is uh, information. Uh, what, what, what's next on that? But did we got so, another one? So understand, we just broke down. A lot of a lot of gems have been dropped. Yeah, actually, your yeah. fault if you don't pick them up and and, and go crazy and and utilize, yeah, <laughs> utilize. Yeah, ahead, or you can just oh. sign and, and and get them folks all your stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you did you spend that. all your money to make? <sighs> Whatever makes you feel comfortable, cause I, I I can I can get more into some numbers into some nerd shit on some mm-hmm. music shit, or we can like you want you want to talk some fuck shit. What that's you no do? fuck shit. I mean, I mean, this, pod, this podcast has a great balance. <laughs> yeah. a, you know what I mean? Let, let's fuck, yeah, let, let's fuck shit out. <laughs> you want to do some fuck shit? Fuck shit and then be out. Before we do some fuck shit, my fault. All right. Uh-huh. As you figure that out, yo. So give us, uh, give us like two minutes, man. I just want you to break down. Feel me? I mean, it's, it's the middle of the podcast, close to the end. Break down, really, who you are, and what's your vision? What you got going on? I want to know what. What you doing right? N- who you are? Mm. What you doing right now? This not on camera. Is and what's your vision? 
You we know you be asking long cameras. ass questions, man. Just nah, make sure the question is. Now nah, he asked like three, five questions at he once. Had three cameras. It's three cameras on you right now. Okay, yeah, I, I can't YouTube. say what's up. Don't, don't get too crazy. Don't get. Talk to me after. Don't get too crazy. Make the question easier. What's the question? Everyone has free info to No, no, sir. I got you. I got you. Okay, you were talking about. Not real bricks, but, but the, you, the white ups, the yeah, white low tops, yeah, all yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah. But nah, who you, you be are? making your questions really long. <laughs> I just three, bro. Nah, for sure, my name Cam, yeah. bro. Pretty much, bro. I just want to be a millionaire, and I just want to start my own community, bro. My yeah. own police department, my own everything. That as a kid, I felt like how stuff need to go. I want to get enough money to see can I really make stuff go my way and see can I change it for the better instead of how everybody and I set a system up. I want to set up a system where it's fair for everybody and not just the whites or not just the blacks and not just the Mexicans. Like, it's, if you either good, you good. You bad, you bad. It don't matter who you is. You doing good, no you going to be over you here. Do, you yeah. doing bad, you're going to be over here. It ain't going to be just 80% black people in jail. It's going to be even out. Like, it's going to be 33% of everybody or 20% of everybody. Of all races, all y'all want to be bad, all y'all ass going to be in jail. We're not focusing on color. If all y'all want to focus on getting some money, all y'all finna be rich. Yeah. Right. Like, what y'all want to focus on? Yeah. Getting some money or being some gangster. Okay, we're going to put all the gangsters in gangster land. We're going to put all the rich people over here in entrepreneur land. Yeah. And we're going to let y'all kill each other over here. And we're going to let y'all get some money over get here. Get some money over here. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about black and white sitting up. It's just about rich. Mm-hmm. Money and po or rich and I don't want to get no money. I just want to be a gangster. We're we'll gonna keep yeah. all y'all over here. We're gonna separate y'all. We're gonna all separate right. so everybody you, with different minds. Will you see your uh, Will you see your uh, your brand in the next year or two? My brand in the next year or two? Like, uh, no, depending on how many billboards I put up, how many people I can really get tuned, and how many ideas I can come up listen with. Listen to the conversation, bro. That's wild, bro. You have listen already have an idea of where you want to take that. So think of that. That large number of whatever, of how much you want to put up, whatever, and tell me where you see yourself. I'm going to be a millionaire next year, even hmm. if it ain't from mm. reason. Hmm. If I ain't a million, I'm going to be half a million, though. But I'm going to be worth a million at least. Even if I ain't got a million in my pocket, I'm going to be able to spend at least half a million that year. Net worth. Yeah, my yeah. net worth going to be worth it for sure. Got you. I got All you. right. I got a question for you. But I'm, but I'm going to spend it on my people. Though. I'm going to spend it in a position bro? where all my people could boss up and I had to work for nobody. I, I like got a that. question. I think we in the realm of the, this question. I All think right, it could be it. a good question. I want to hear y'all for real, though. No, no I'm bullshit. In. I'm in. Okay, cool. I can't promise nothing. What's worse? Being naive and not seeing things or being aware and not changing things? I definitely say being What's aware worse? and not changing things. The fact that you got the ability to change and you don't and she get bad and you know it's all your fault, you should feel bad. That's worse than being naive and not seeing things. Yeah, because if you if you were naive and you saw it and you knew better, you probably would try to do something even if you couldn't. But the fact that you could do something and you're not trying to, you know what I'm saying? You should get whatever this, what happened to you, whatever, whatever happened to you is supposed to happen to you. What and if, yeah. if everything fall down, you just lost everything, it's your fault that you lost everything because you could have did something yeah. to prevent it. Okay, how y'all felt about it? When you uh, when you naive, you don't know that you naive. Yeah, you I uh, me? when you naive, it's just like it, you you've asked this question. You, 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 okay, go you ahead. go. Oh, I go. Who going? Go go ahead. You was going. Go ahead. You was going. Go ahead. I didn't know you was going. My bad. Go ahead. When you naive, you don't know. You know, you're not aware. You have no idea what's going on. Mm-hmm. Everything is just bliss, happy go lucky, the most optimistic way. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But the opposite of what you're saying is, is you're aware. You you can see both hands in this card game. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I know exactly what everyone has when I'm playing domino. But I'm, I'm still making the choice to play a particular card that's not in my favor. You feel me? That's what awareness is and not changing anything when you know you can change it. Being naive is, yo, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So that's why when people say, yo, boo, if you knew better, you'd do better. Yeah. But if you don't know, you can't do better. Thanks. Okay. And that's real. I've, I've heard this question before. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased because I know I, I got the information. Um, but I still agree with these two gentlemen. I do think if you – it's like you ever see them niggas in the park playing chess with themselves on both sides? Yeah. It's so much – But they weird as shit. It, it looks weird. If you play right. chess yeah, by yourself, it's, it's kind of weird. weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm not but, you really I'm seeing it, but you seeing you seeing but, both angles. But very, I will say it's very exhilarating. But I will oh, say but I, I know what I'm gonna do, so I know what I'm gonna. 
You challenging now, now yourself. When you, now when you want both sides to win. But that's but but here's the thing. No, but bro, you gotta understand the science in that. It's playing literally what so, we're talking about. Playing so it's harder than playing somebody else. My bad. Go ahead, bro. No, no, no. I'm with you. It, it, that's what's crazy is because you're literally knowing and playing the game accordingly. You're not gonna lose either hand. So imagine I, trying to beat yourself twice. That's I know, fire. I, but I will I, say, I will, I will say, I think it's worse to know and to not do. I, I think that's worse. Yeah, it's worse. I think it also. But let's. I mean, I'm. I be. I be too. A shorty told me the other day that I was like, I was too understanding. And she like, never a straight answer with you, Lamar. And I was like, shut it's up. Not, you no, no, because you, you caveat, like, man. I'm caveat, man. You right. You know, hey, so hey, she's hey, right. Hey, hey, let me put my fucking cape on in. Yeah, no, 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 no. She no, said, no. she said, you caveat, man. No. All right, and I said, bro, you, you don't know. Girl. But if you no, ask listen. this nigga, if you ask, if you ask this nigga a question. It's gonna come with a question. You can say what hey, kind of hot dog you no, that's want. That's a fact. He gonna hey. be like, "Well, is the hot dog?" He said, "Is it beef or is, is it pork?" Beef? It's like, "Well, damn, what, do, what kind of beef?" I mean, pause, like, bro, is pause, it the gangsters pause, don't eat glizzies? glizzies you we heard? Glizzies? Well, okay, nah, look, look, look. Right. So what I, was saying, what I was I hate saying, what I was saying is that New York jokes. <laughs> with that, I would also say, just <laughs> New York jokes, man. We're saying things from a priv- well, a place of privilege. You feel me? Everybody in this room is of a level of boss to where you got up and got something out off your own. You feel me? Yeah. Like even the fact that we're sitting here doing the show shows that we're we're willing to get up and make something happen. Well, yeah. A lot of people, some people don't have that fire. Yeah. Some people don't have that desire. Yeah. So even if they did know, right, they probably wouldn't change because of comfortability. So that's something I have to. Oh, I just want to throw that out there as well. Just saying, like, yo, some of y'all right now, and this is what I've learned from some of my mentors. A lot of us have information, information overload. You feel me? I even get, I get excited when I find out about a new course I can get. But yo, am I really going to put the work in to actually take that information that I get and mm. put the work in? What a lot of us get excited off of information, yeah. get horny off of that shit. We love and information. Don't actually Niggas ain't no, school, but we love information. Don't actually put no, <laughs> no yeah. effort to yeah. the plan. So just because you, some of y'all, just because y'all know, y'all still not going to do nothing because you're not. You don't have the desire to yeah. actually have a different lifestyle as you have now. Do you yeah. remember your answer? Because I know we you know he changed is, it a little bro. bit. Wait, JJ, the yeah. answer. My bad. My bad. They, I they usually come from oh. niggas that kind of comfortable with family. Like, oh, I'm here. All my family here. I ain't really got to do nothing because grandma going to leave me this. Mama going to leave me yeah. that. Like, mm. Most niggas that really was homeless, like Tyler Perry, uh, Oprah, like a lot of these successful people that really up was homeless, bro. Nigga, I was homeless. Like, when you homeless, bro. It's something about I'm never going back to this ever again in my life that make you not even, even I don't care how bad a bitch is. Like, bitch, you're never worth me not having a house to stay. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't your pussy, sleep nowhere. Your pussy like, ain't never that good, Shawty. You finna have to leave right now so I can figure out how the fuck I'm finna pay rent. Never like, going broke. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going back broke again, ever, bro. Nah, I respect that. Like, ever, bro. Yep. Yeah. Especially by the female, bro. Most of, most of the dudes that I know who, I got one of my, my, my partner who uh, we have our trucking company together. Yep. My man has the, the sickest work ethic I've ever seen. The other day, he, even, uh, he was on the ground. He pulled out like 62000 63000 And uh, he was talking about an opportunity, but he just pulled out the cash to kind of flex. I'm like, yo, bro, where the fuck that 60 something come from? He's like, bro, I just reserve money just in case something happened. I'm like, what are you waiting for the... the what apocalypse are you getting ready yeah, for, bro? Like, Jesus coming. You just got an extra like, sixty two thousand? I thought all your bread, was in, all your bread good, was in crypto. I thought that ain't all even, right. That's I all mean, right, but still, bro. bro. Right bro, now, bro, I got a I got a good but, twenty but, for you, nigga. I got but, twenty dollars right now, bro. Short, I, can, short, I can put ten dollars on whatever you want. Hey, hey, it's not about it's not about it's not about the number. It's not about the number. It's about the fact that like I know buddy I got twelve dollars. Multiple hundreds, but he grinds sick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He grind disgusting. Yeah. And when he told me his story, my boy used to literally sleep at work. Right. Last nigga leave, first nigga in. Why? Because you slept here. <laughs> like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm. Used to sleep at work, had no home, sleeping on the floor, blah, blah, blah. And I've learned those type of stories. Fuck, I've been there. But yeah, bro. And I'm it really you, give you a certain type of hustle because yeah. you don't yeah. experience that no more. Yeah, I'm never going back to this All shit, right. bro. Jay, did you, did you have an answer for the for the... For the question before we get about it, what was the question? I'm sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm listening to all this greatness. <laughs> okay. No, uh, what was it? Knowing better and uh, doing, yeah, or, uh, uh, being naive and not seeing things, yeah. or being aware and not changing things. Before we get out of here, um, me personally, I feel like there's a power in 
knowing something is fucked up and knowing that you can change it, but you want to change it on your own time. I think that's a power there. Um, I think being naive and not being able to change anything is a weakness. Um, that's just me personally. Yeah, because you ain't paying attention to us around anything can happen to you. you exactly. You're like so you, green. You're, you're so volatile. You're going with the flow. Yeah, you're going it's with like the flow. It, you're, you're, you're a yes man. I exactly. want you to be the teller at every but restaurant if, I go if, to. If you, if you know some, like I said, I, I could possibly be in a situation that I know is fucked up, but I know it's fucked up. And I know how to change it, but I know how to change it. I'll, 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 I'll take that as a win opposed to not knowing I'm in a fucked up situation and not knowing I can change it. Yeah. Wait, 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 which one's worse? My which bad. one is worth, worse? Worse to me is being naive and not knowing. Yeah, because you, you, you are right up yeah. in, a, in a bad situation. Because now, now I have to rely on, oh, this is going to be a fucking take, but I'm going to say it anyway because this is the only thing that popped in my brain right now. Slavery. Oh, God. I attribute slavery to being naive and not knowing yeah. because we didn't know. We didn't know. They took advantage of us. No one knew. We didn't know shit about nothing. They it's picked true. us up. They dropped us off. And then 400 years later, we was like, no, this is wrong. <laughs> but it eventually, uh, not eventually, but in, in the beginning, niggas were like, oh, we, you, you want to take us over somewhere? And we're going we to be on a vacation. Niggas didn't know what the fuck <laughs> oh, was happening. God, you ain't lying. Niggas didn't know what the fuck was happening. So they were naive and did not know. What I'm saying is the knowledge to me, the power is in knowing. Now, you could treat me wrong for X amount of years, but if I know it, yes. I can. It's, it's kind of like how you watch a movie and Shorty would get cheated on for years and she'll know. I know you're but but she's, she's, she's preparing for her exodus. She's getting the kids schooling together. She she's she she knows that she about to take half of your money. Yeah. She knows that you fucking up. I'm about to take like she knows she's getting her ducks in a row. Yeah, that's that crazy, bro. that, that's that what I do. power that's a strength. That that's that what knowledge. I, do I cut people out. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna add it up. So before I tell you yeah. why I cut you out, it should be ten reasons why I cut you out, and you gonna even understand that you shouldn't even hit me up no more. Yeah. And at the end, you like fuck. You got it. You yeah. like no. You I fucked yeah. up. You right. Yeah, My yeah, man yeah, cut yeah. people out. Exactly. Bro. So as I, I see it that way, like knowledge is power, and mm-hmm. that's that's cliche as shit, but Thanks. it is power. And if I have the knowledge, I know for a fact that I I have the upper hand. If but that's, that's why know, they that's why they didn't let slaves learn, and that's, that's, that's why like, they didn't let you know how to read. That's, what I said, that's like, why I, they didn't I, give I, you no I, information. I, I attribute all this to slavery. It's like you are gonna bring this over here. We just gonna be the strong ass motherfuckers. The Mandingo warriors killed each other, not knowing nothing. Motherfucker came from a, a a real place. Niggas was fucking their moms. Yeah. It's real shit. It's like Facts. we were ignorant to so many things, and because of that, they got over. Yeah. The knowledge is what they did not want us to have. No, of and course. When you, once it's you way get, more valuable. Once you get the knowledge, I'm not naive no more. I see what the fuck y'all doing over there. So because y'all doing that shit, right. we not rocking like that no more. Yeah. And now that I got the knowledge, knowledge is now power. Power. 100%. Not knowing is ignorance, which makes you weak to me. So mm-hmm. to answer the question, I will always want to have the knowledge, even if the knowledge is to my detriment. Sure. Let me know I'm being fucked up. But right. cool, at least I know. At least I know. And at least I know. come up with a conclusion. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's, that's just my answer to that question right. type shit. We well, yo, man. Oh, we, outro. We, yeah. Get, get us going. Um, it's oh, been wait, a, Oh, shit. Ahead, One bro. more. Before that. Go ahead. Nah, I'm going. Nah, nah. I just want to, yo, where can they find you, bro? Like, yeah, like, I literally was going to do no, that. No, where can they same. find you? Like, are you a rapper? Like, what do you? Yeah, nah, I'm a rapper. Where can they find you at? <laughs> I got he a, said, are you a rapper? On YouTube, you type in Look Cam TV, L-I-L-C-A-M TV. And on Instagram, it's mm-hmm. Cam Dollar underscore. C-A-M-D-O-L-L-A underscore. Mm-hmm. Look Cam TV. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, so that video that me and Jay was the star of. Um, oh no, we ain't gonna get put because you know what I'm saying. Are we gonna be? We in the video, we, we man. Star in your video. video, like it's I, more I, I, us I than want, you. I want a little cameo. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, now we had a cameo in the back. Yo, that video fly as shit though. I know, yeah, nah, it's, we it's, was, we was getting it in the back. I just want to make sure. Nah, nah, you wasn't there, bro. You missed it. What's the name of that song? He missed it. Fuck him over. All right, you gonna put that out because I got to show the world that I'm dropping the snippet this week. I like it. I'm dropping the snippet this week. I like it. I'm also a producer. He's a rapper. He's a singer. <laughs> yeah, he looked like one. <laughs> yeah, like a do, yeah. Silk shirt. Bro, got the <laughs> you got hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I've been ugly for a long time, bro. <laughs> now it's time to level up. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you feel so, me? So would you? Would you? Can we do some work? Can we do some shit together, bro? Yeah, like, on, I got on, the beats. On camera, when a nigga the... can't deny you, yeah. I, 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 I right. know what he's doing. On camera, what if he was like, Nah, yeah, 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 yeah,